Um, no. it's, it's, it's recording. It's recording, brother. Mm-hmm. You know, you already know already. Yes, yeah, for you call me. You know each other. Right quick, right quick. Somebody, somebody get have a cool tune on. You start off with that and just go with the spirit, bro. All right. All right. All right. Shall one? We want to start by giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakach Kadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and the other bishops of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and citations to the elect. Scattered brought throughout the four corners of the earth. We're back here again to Men of Great Millstone, back with another, you know, weekend teaching or sit down. You know, obviously, you know, the weather was crazy out there, so, you know, we still gathered together, you know, to serve the Lord and to proclaim the acceptable day of the Lord and to chant down Babylon. So we're going to go straight in it with the prophecies and, and just go with the Spirit. Yeah, bro. This is Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower mm-hmm. and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Right. And the Lord, Yahweh Shah, answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table. Right. And what you see throughout the four corners of the earth, the men, they're, on, they're standing on their watch. Mainly men of great millstone because... It's more deeper than just teaching that you were Israelite and then and then the white man's a devil. And then what? What's after that? Yeah. What's after that? What, what's really what's really going on? You know, now we know through the spirit that a lot is going on behind the scenes and ultimately mm-hmm. the MO to the TV. That's the main thing that's brewing up right now, which I, I just did a video today. Uh, a couple of days ago, they started their human brain trials or whatever. You know, I'm going to try to speak a little more cryptic so, you know, they don't flag this. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we in that time where this devil's getting ready to, to make their moves. And he ain't just now, like I was telling the brothers, he ain't just now just started doing trials. They've been doing trials. <clears throat> I know y'all brothers remember the, uh, the bull, the Delgado yeah. bull, I believe it's called, mm-hmm. <clears throat> where, they, where they experimented with the bull, put the, uh, the thing in his brain, and then had him stampeded towards the red uh, uh, bandana or flag or whatever. And then as soon as they activated it, it just, it just made him docile. Mm-hmm. You know, and then when you go to the comment board of these uh, particular videos, a lot of people are onto Esau's bullshit because here it is, is letting you know. Because with, with um, certain technology, you got input and output, mm-hmm. right? Now, what they're saying is, with the with the brain thing, you can output. If I believe, yeah, you can output signals. Now, if you can output signals, that means you can move your arm, your your legs, your, your you know, you use a, a paralyzed. But now you're not paralyzed no more. So what people are saying on, on the comic board when I was reading is that if you if they can output it, then they can input it. Mm-hmm. In other words, they can program you to do certain shit. Right. You know, they could control you like a damn uh, uh, AI or, or, or like RoboCop or something. Mm-hmm. You know, you got it, got it. You got a um, couple shows, <clears throat> hundreds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, ch- the the whole season was dedicated to the chip in the brain. Mm-hmm. You know, right? Or then they actually they swallowed it and yeah. the woman, when she was possessed, she looked like she was possessed. Remember that? Yeah. And she was like, we all know um, your secrets because it was all connected. It was yeah, like right, a hive. Right. A hive net. So, exactly. What the brother said is absolutely right because that's what they're trying to do. And yep. the proof of that, going back to MK Ultra, mm-hmm. you had CIA started a whole MK Ultra when it's all about mind control, psychedelics, and all that. That was like the first initial initial um, thing that he was trying to do to control the minds. And you got the power of suggestion, commercials, you know. So, so it's it's not far fetched that they're gonna put information to your head. They've been doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, now directly they could do it. Direct with, control. By what? The AI. That's right. what it's all about. Yeah. They're plugging you. Uh, they remind me of the Matrix. Remember the Matrix when they, when you, you literally have to yeah. get in, uh, yeah. unplugged from the incubator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So these people get, now these people, they, they, if they weren't already plugged into the incubator, now they're about to be plugged in even more. Yeah. And that's why the Lord ain't going to want, going to want these individuals. So Lord, I guess we're going to talk about that. Yeah, brother, read on. Uh, <clears throat> verse 3. I'm going to start with verse 2 again. And the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Right, which is the prophecy being written on the script, in, in, in the scrolls, in the tablets, in the scriptures. All right, because now we in the days, like the Lord told Daniel, that, that knowledge shall be increased. All right, in the last days, knowledge is going to be increased. And that's why we have the full understanding of what was written aforetime. All right, because now is the time where the pro- prophecies are manifesting, which would make sense when the apostles said we know more than the prophets back then, because they were just receiving instructions. Right. Mm-hmm. But now what are we doing? We we breaking down the instructions that we were given. Mm-hmm. That's why for most for brothers is is easily to be understood because like it says in Jude, though you once knew this, right. all right, we knew this at one point. So what the Lord is doing, 
It's just drawing it out. Just like if you, you were taught something from a child, it, it'll all stick with you. Right. And sometime along in the future, you hear it again and like, oh, shit. You accept it easily because it was always embedded in you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So the same thing with the prophecy, you get it? Yeah, that's a spirit of remembrance. That's, that's right. Yeah, remember and show yourselves, man. You know, grab it. Come on, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Right, at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, man. The visions are not lying, bro. I mean, you look, you look. See, now, for somebody that's not watching, to them, they, it's, it's like they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, like like we, like I told you, uh, we was talking earlier, like like Nate, when he, when he tried to clean up his Jacob's Trouble statement, mm -hmm. he said, I, I, he said, what? I said that it wasn't happening at that time, dummies, because at the time, nothing was happening, which that's a damn lie. Yeah. Shit is always happening. Yeah. You just wasn't watching. Right. We, we think we was doing, what, what, what all these videos and lessons and camp videos was, was what was we talking about for the past 15 years when the, since the apostles been on YouTube? Right. Nothing was happening, so it's a, you know, yeah. shit is always happening, bro. Exactly. You know? So, a statement like that, you know, shit ain't happening, that means you're not a watchman. Right. All right? And a watchman is supposed to be on his watch regardless of if the day seemed dead and nothing is happening. You still got to watch, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. You got it. You got it. Uh, Revelation 12 and 15 to the point. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth mm. and keepeth his garments. Mm -hmm. They see walk naked and they see his shame. Right, it ain't talking about your your fringes, man. Like you, these other groups, they'll bring that out and say, see, you got to wear your fringes out. Yeah. I ain't talking about the fringes, man. It's talking about your spiritual garment, right. being clothed and not being found naked. When you have a shot, come back because at the end of the day, the scripture refers to us as what? As uh, brides. Right. Now, what is the bride supposed to be doing? You got the five wives and the five fools. The five wives are gonna be adorning themselves, just like you got a wedding coming up, and you tell you tell your wife, your wife to be that. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back when I'll be back. All right? She don't got to know when you be back, but what she supposed to be doing? She supposed to be preparing herself, man. She supposed to be gonna lose, trying to lose weight, trying to fit in that dress, yeah. putting on that makeup, making sure you know her hair is on point. Mm -hmm. You know, but these these niggas out here with they with they sloppy ass garments. Or no garment at all out here with they with they bonnets and fucking <laughs> sleeping clothes and shit. Yeah. They're not ready for you how we to come back, man. They flip flops. Flip flops. <laughs> you know, just all tacky as hell, man. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. That was his call? Yeah, yeah, that was a point. Connor, whoever got any priests that y'all brought? No. Yeah. Oh, it's Brock got some. Yeah, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk it of her wine, mm. building on the prophecy of the Karabma. You know, he's going to push that on all the earth mm. as in something that's uh, wise to get, is safe to get, is oh. secure to have. You know, for yeah. the people that can't see colors, you, you can receive your vision of colors. For the people that can't walk, you can walk. For the people that always lose his stuff, well, you ain't got to worry about it because all the information is stored on the Karabma. Yeah. You know, so it says Babylon, which is America, all right. Babylon coming from the Hebrew word Baba, which means confusion, and this land spews nothing but confusion. Have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, drunken with what? The philosophies, the wicked, sinful philosophies, the alphabet community, right? Women's rights, the right pro abortions. That's the drunkenness that Babylon pushes. You actually have women on the streets today protesting for be, uh, the anti-abortion bill, right? Which abortion is murder, according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. which is against God's commandments. But guess what America pushes? It's all right for you to have abortions. It's all right to murder your children, right? It says, the nations have drunken of her wine, Therefore, the nations are mad. The world is being, is, um, the Lord is revealing, right? And the nations are waking up to all the wickedness that America has been doing over the years, right? And soon, right, people are going to catch on that this chip ain't what it's all cracked up to be. And it's going to be revolts. It's going to be rebellions. And it's going to be um, a division, all right? She said, Go ahead, yeah. I'm going to back you up. Uh, let's see your piece of it. Uh, back in Revelation 16 and uh, 13. 
And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Mm -hmm. But they are spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth. Yeah, these are spirits of devils, deceiver, all right? Which work of miracles, that is a miracle. For a person not to be able to see, and then you give them the sight, um, you give them their sight, that's a miracle. If a person is crippled or lame, and you give them the ability to walk, that's a miracle. If a person can't taste, you give them the ability to taste, that's a miracle. Which we was building on earlier, the Lord did all those things Without a goddamn uh, karam, mm -hmm. all right. Great technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great yeah. It says, and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Yahweh Hashem Almighty, which is the the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is in Hebrew is Yahweh Shabbat, the Valley of the Most High's judgment. Right. All the nations will gather there. This up and coming third world's war. Because that's what the Lord wants. That's the end game, mm -hmm. right? To get all the nations in one place to battle each other mm -hmm. so he can come and wipe all of them out. That's right. Yeah. That was the point. That was the point. Okay. okay. I got some. Yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 12, it says, And he ex exerciseth all the power of the beast that was before so, him. So I love it. This is Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. Which is America. And he spake as a dragon. And the two horns represents the two different powers mm -hmm. that they have in office, which is the Democrats and Republicans. All right, go ahead. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. He exercised all the power of the first beast, which is the Roman Empire. Go ahead. And caused the earth and them that... And them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. Yeah. Dead, who's... yeah, they worship the first beast, which is they keep in the same system, mm -hmm. the same infrastructure, mm -hmm. yep. the same governed yep. rulership yep. as the Roman Empire did. Yeah, yeah. Same holidays. Yeah, I was about to say spiritual sect sector things, gods, religion. Mm -hmm. Which goes to show why are we still calling the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, which the origins of those days goes back to different gods of the other nations, yeah. different idols, because they are no gods, That's right. right? Why are we still keeping the Gregorian calendar, right? Gregorian goes back to um, uh, Julius uh, something, I forgot his name. It was a Pope of Rome. Right. You got, Julie, you got the Julian calendar the and Julian, the Gregorian calendar. Yeah, the Ju Julian, which is a revamp of the Julian calendar. Because yeah. um, the Julian calendar came from Julius Caesar. Right. Who followed the practices of uh, the Egyptians. The Egyptians. And they had eight days. Mm -hmm. So they changed that. And um, that's what it, Gregorian goes back because why? They had 360 something days. Mm -hmm. And he added a couple more days into the, to the yearly calendar. So everybody's following the 360, what, 65 days? Right. Or 60, uh, 668 days, something like that. Calendar which everybody um, follows instead of following the lunar calendar according to the scriptures. Which is 354 days. Right. Or 354 and a half, some say. But that shows that they're worshiping that first beast, which is the Roman Empire. You don't forget Latin. Oh, Latin, mm -hmm. which goes back, you go into any court system, medical system, all the terminologies that they speak is Latin and Greek. You look up all the terminologies that they use in the medical system, it goes back to some type of Latin term or Greek term. Yeah. And it says, whose deadly wound was healed. Mm -hmm. It says, and he doeth great wonders. Oh, it's like it, man. The deadly wound was healed also because it, um, when after World War II, NATO before it was called NATO, they, they came together in Rome called the Treaty the, the Rome the Roman um, it's like a Treaty of Rome. The Treaty, Treaty of Rome, Rome. in nineteen forty eight or forty six. Mm -hmm. And they established that. So they kept they went back to the old Roman, Roman ways. Yeah. So that was something that was revived again. Right. Because NATO and the, the NATO and the EU in America this is a reamp version of uh, the Roman. Roman Empire. Okay? 
That's why they follow every single thing that they do, even with the sentence. Yeah. Because you know what? You have 320 senate senators in Rome. They got where you got where you think they got it from here in America. Mm -hmm. So that's that we you know that healed it healed again. Okay. Yep. That system didn't die, so to speak. Yeah. 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 If I can add, yeah, mm -hmm. um, even down to the two parties, the two horns that the elder just expounded on, the Democrats and the Republicans. In the ancient Roman days, it was what the Palladians and, and the Patricians, right? Yeah. You know, even down to um, you know, the uh, the seven hills of Rome. One of the hills in Rome was called what Capitoline Hill, mm -hmm. which is completely identical to the Capitol Hill. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, even down to the buildings. Yep. They got them all the pillars in the front. Mm -hmm. The architect is just like how they built, which shows that it's Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. The Romans were Edomites. And the people that rule America are Edomites. That's right. Yeah. Verse 13, it says, And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Mm -hmm. Going back to Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yep. Right? Which they tested um, the first atomic bombs upon them. Right? That was that great wonder. It caused great death. Mm -hmm. And they said, I forgot what the God said. So I become the um, destroyer of worlds. I became the destroyer of worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Destroyer of worlds. And he also, they also had said basically, we had to lick those bombs off because way more people would have died if we had to take you on the war. Which shows he just a damn devil. Mm -hmm. He said way more people would have died if we had kept on the war. So I had to release those bombs upon them. Only a devil would say something like that. Yeah. yeah. And Japan already had surrendered before they dropped the bombs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. This is our verse. Which Japan, they wasn't even the cause of Pearl Harbor. Right. That was the inside job. Right. That was a that was a um yeah inside right. job. It was a, a false flag. flag. False flag. That was the mm -hmm. words. That was a false flag. These devils. That's their mo. They make it uh, auto out of chaos, order out of chaos. They cause the chaos so they can bring the order. That's the um the, the um what's you call it? Masad, that, that's the um motto. Right. Yes, um, yes, um, yes. Do deception, mm -hmm. we cause war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my free paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. And the Masad is uh, the CIA of the um Israelis, yep, yep. which mm -hmm. is the chief house of what? Of Esau. Yep. So this whole thing is like um, you know. Also, Ben said all wars are bankers' wars. Right. You know, but all, all, everything is a psyop. Right. You know, everything yeah. that you believe that you, know, you hold dear, near to your heart was orchestrated, orchestrated by men. Right. By wicked men to get mm -hmm. you feeling the way you feel. That's why people get so um, en enchanted with certain things. Yeah. And not realizing what's going on. You know, this whole um, concept of Rome that we say. That's even that goes back to the Greeks. Yeah. So the, the democracy, you know, everybody's in their mind, but that goes back to the Greeks, and that wasn't a thing of what everybody else is doing. That was the thing what they were doing. But that was the Esau when he started his empire. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Everything is re recycled. Mm -hmm. Verse fourteen it says, "And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles." Yeah, that they had the power. You know, if nobody bows down to the ways of America, we're going to blow you the hell up. And nobody want to smoke with America at this time. Mm -hmm. Even though Russia, they had the Tsar bomb at that time. They always, because um, when they got the German scientists, um, the Russians got the better German scientists than America got. Mm -hmm. That's why their technology or their warfare is a little bit better than America's. But go ahead. Yeah, and also those miracles is going into, you know, what the elder was going into, how, you know, Esau, he has the technology to now make people walk, you know, make the blind to see, you know, make the lame to walk. You know, if you was par paralyzed, you know, they put that thing in your brain that'll send signals throughout your, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Neurological nervous system. system. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, nervous system. Yeah, your nervous system to, to actually make you do these things, man, you know? So that's that's the miracles. Quick precept to add. Um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and to the point 9. 
even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Mm. Right. Yeah, that's in what the brothers are getting into. That's what it is. Because the, back to back what we said, Esau is a mass of deception. That's mm -hmm. his, his, his whole model. Mm -hmm. This is his life. Mm -hmm. So you have the Israelis who claim to be who they are leading the force of all this, this deception on the planet Earth. All right. Mm -hmm. They first and foremost I have to say it like that because they claim to be the lowest chosen people, which is a, the number one lie on the planet Earth. So if you lie on that one thing, what it leads to a whole bunch of other things that we being presented as mm -hmm. what they oh that they God shows the people. So everything that they do, it, it must be good. It's yeah. justifiable. You know, it's justifiable. Heavenly divine. You know. So th this is. You know, they, oh, heavenly inspired, inspired yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because they'll have you believe that they are the, the, the Lord's chosen people. Mm -hmm. But all they are is just, they fraudulent, they ain't fake. They, they figure they're the $3 bill, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know I had to say that, because yeah, it is a $2 right. bill. <laughs> right. But they led this, this great deception on the planet Earth with lying, and that's what, one of the main things is these science. Mm -hmm. They science. Now this whole entire anti-abortion bill, what we was discussing, we all know it, that's gonna lead to people leaving with them. No other choice, you, you have no rights to your body. Mm -hmm. That was the only last uh, a hurdle that people have been saying. I don't wanna take this, you know what, because my body, my choice. Now mm -hmm. it's out of the, out. Yeah. You know, that's no more gonna be said you have no rights to your body. To your body. Because if Everybody's getting sick and dying. It's all about the government. Yeah. And what the government see fits. These are part of the miracle. So what so it, what, what does he do? Turn around? They come up with a a, 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 a solution. A solution. Some sauce. Alright? Some liquid love. Yeah. You know? Something that can take that fear from you. That's that's part of the lying wonders. Mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. That oh, even uh, Rockefeller said it, he said, um, we're gonna keep giving them poison. This is a quote, you might ask. We'll keep giving them poison, and then when they poison enough, when they come to us, we're gonna give them more poison. So they're gonna feed you poison, and then you go to the doctor, they're gonna give you poison, to the point that you all you get is poison. That's why Bill Gates took most of the majority of the land in America, farmland. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Every damn thing that you eat is not real. Mm -hmm. Impossible meat and so forth. These are lying wonders. Mm -hmm. You know, these these are things that <laughs> you never could imagine somebody can do. He's doing it because mm -hmm. who's his who's his who's his beneficial? Satan, mm -hmm. all right. And this Satan is leading him to do the, these things that he's doing. There's actually more. There's more. I'm gonna read because I had it too. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, yeah finish it. <coughs> Revelation thirteen. Sorry. Oh. Who's reading Revelation thirteen? Me. Yeah. You gotta finish it. Okay, yeah, finish Revelation thirteen, 13 yeah. and fourteen. It says, and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Mm -hmm. Which the image isn't Cesare Borgia, <laughs> it isn't white Jesus, it ain't white women, you know. The image is the system. Yep. The image is the new world order. Yep. It's their agendas. Yeah. It says, um, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Mm -hmm. If and anybody it, don't conform to the new world order, if you don't take that karama, you're going to die. Yeah. Yeah. yeah real quick, bro, because mm -hmm. the word image just simply means likeness. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, the image of something is, is exact, exactly like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture is saying the image of the beast. Now you, now you, now, now again, like we're already breaking it down. Now you gotta know what the beast is talking about. Mm -hmm. If you understand that the beast is talking about the pagan Roman Empire, then you would understand that that this, this particular beast is doing the same thing mm -hmm. and making a likeness of the old beast. Then that will have to only be a miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that could only be a, a miracle. You know what I'm saying? The, the exact likeness that we. We named a whole mouthful of uh, uh, particular simil similarities mm -hmm. between the Roman Empire and America, Babylon the Great, right. as far as well as NATO and the EU. Because guess what? They're in bed with Babylon, man. They they sleep with the whore. 
Yeah. You know, like we was talking earlier, they they, they caught that that, uh, that clap with the AIDS or the virus. Yeah. You know, they spreading it amongst each other. Yeah. You know, the immune deficiency and all that, you know? So, <laughs> that's the likeness, the, the image, the, you know? Yeah. Like you said, ain't no damn, ain't no picture. No picture of Caesar. So, we gonna go... So, I mean, we can easily go and just start buying shit with a, with a picture of Caesar in our wallet. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and that, and that, that's that's the, and, and, and that's the... You know, the foolishness or the simpleness, because everybody doesn't even believe in so called Jesus. Exactly. Right. What about the Muslims? Exactly. What about the Buddhists? Mm -hmm. What about the atheists? Mm -hmm. What about all these different nations that got their own gods? Exactly. You know? It can't just be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It got to be something else. Yeah, what's that mm -hmm. all place called? The, the United Nations. Yeah. They they got their own, everybody in the United Nations got their own damn religion. Exactly. You saw don't give a shit about that, man. Exactly. You saw don't even believe in fucking Caesar Boys. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, if I can say this, um, when you read uh, up in the chapter, you know, when it's going into the beast, it mentions the beast uh, starting as a leopard, which is going into the Greek Empire. Mm -hmm. you know, when you go into the Greek Empire, it tells you how, you know, um, the, the king at the time, I think it was... Uh, was it uh, Alexander. Alexander? Alexander. Yeah, yeah. Where, where he basically said that the uh, whole world should be one. Oh, you know, no, that's 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 this is uh, something that they wanted to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that song's too. Why do we need the rage? Yeah, yeah. Right. They, they all, they all, they all, yeah. they all thought about it, man. Yeah. They all thought about it. You know, yeah. you got the main figureheads when you when you read in, uh, Daniel in the statue. Yeah. Those are the main figureheads that really yeah. spearheaded this this you know their, their great empires mm -hmm. and all that. You know, but we had the we had the last of it, man. The ten toes, you know, yeah. the ivory mixed with clay and all that, and mm -hmm. iron. Partly weak, partly strong. Yep. Yep. The okay. Lord is getting ready, huh? Real quick. Yeah, get it. Um, Revelation 17 and 12. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which received it. No kingdom mm. as yet, but received power as kings one hour of the beast. Mm -hmm. Which is talking about now. Which is what we're seeing now. Because they, they, they're really under, under, under Babylon, under America. Yeah. You know, with, within that NATO and the EU system. Yeah. Yep. That's why they, they, they have that power together. Yep. All right? They have that power together. So they're minor kingdoms, so to speak. Yeah. Individually, they're minor kingdoms. Yep. yep. Go ahead. It yep. says, these have one mind. The, what, one mind? Yep. Well, what, what is that one mind? That that That, 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 world. World. Yep. that one world government. That, that so-called Great Reset that they're talking about because they're all in on it. When we, what, what, what the hell is this shit called? World Economic Forum, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for the whole world. Yeah. It ain't just America. America, that's why the nation's gonna hate the whole. America's gonna do some backbiting shit like they always do. Yeah. Somewhere along the line, Amer America's gonna do shit to tick these nations off. And they're like, oh, hell no. Yeah. You know, oh, fuck, no, fuck you. You know, yeah. you know hey, hey, they may they may try to, because these nations, they, in their mind, Psalms 49 and 11 says they're in with thought their house going to continue forever. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You probably got Russia thinking they ain't going to be the next superpower. Yep. Yep. And they might they might convince them, well, you know what, guys, you should, you should come follow me because I can do better in America. That's and right. next thing you know, everybody turn and try to join the bully yeah, yeah. and fuck up the other bully. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But that's exactly what's happening because the simple mm -hmm. fact is, um, look how much praises um, Russia is getting. Not Russia, um, um, China is getting. Oh, yeah, yeah. And how they taking care of that solution with the, uh, a zero... Covert thing. Uh -huh. Now, China is the no, the, supposed to be the number one enemy of America today, which the economic thing and everything like that. Why is Bill Gates and all these other people, world power, who's supposed to be part of America, bigging up China? Because it's, they all have this one concept and they're all trying to say, like, we could do better than this guy can do it. Right. You know, that's all it is. It's yeah. just competition. Yeah. That's and, all it is. And then you got Babylon, America, cutting off. You yeah. know, set of sanctions between yeah. um, the, yep. the EU nations mm -hmm. and, and Russia. Russia and all that. Yeah. Now they, they get they they hurt economically. They hurting. They hurting to somebody that's in debt, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, I mean, what, what can what can Babylon really offer them? Now they got the they got the Russians over there and that whole that whole region with China and all of them. Because you got the BRICS nation, which they all they they those are powerful nations. What is it? Brazil, Russia, India. Um, China, China and South Africa. Yeah. Those nations, they have resources, man. 
You know what I'm saying? What what resources do do this place get? This is a consumer society. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's gonna cost them a lot. It's gonna cost Babylon's allies a lot of a lot of a lot. You know, for for the penalties and repercussions of what they do. Yeah. So that that's one way we can see how these nations are gonna hate the whole man. Yeah. And be all divided and all that. You know. It's a little more. So it says, um, verse thirteen, uh, Revelation seventeen and thirteen. It says, "These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the man, and the man shall overcome them. Mm -hmm. For he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings, and they that are with him are called chosen and faithful." Right, and that's going into what is that? Um, Second Edges thirteen. Yes. With um, when when, when Yahweh Shai come back and then he turned into dust and powders and vapor. Mm -hmm. Right. Michael and the archangel fighting against the dragon and his angels. Yep. The dragon is again the uh, America, Babylon the Great, the Edomites, mm -hmm. and then all the allies that are going to come together when they realize, oh shit, we got a bigger enemy. And don't didn't all these devils say that at one point in yes, time? It is, it is. They all said it, and they, they we know what they was talking about. Because exactly. when you read when you listen on to the videos, they go into something else. I forget what the hell they go into. Some. Some other bullshit, but right. really they was talking about the second return of Yahweh Shai and the yeah. angels, man. Some other force, some other power. Yeah, that's what they said, but then they was talking about like some, 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 they were trying to swing it like it's some economic shit they was talking about. Mm -hmm. Really they was talking about the second coming. coming. Yeah, the second coming. You know, the, the angelic forces that's coming. Hey, I, I'm a slack here, brother. Mm -hmm. well, good, bro. You got the, um, the videos resurfaced about this looking glass. Mm. And yeah. it's deep because. I guess the Lord allowed these people to see the future mm -hmm. and different vari variations of the future, but it all leads to one common cause. Yeah. But it's all going to lead to, we, and we all know the secret. Yeah. That one common cause, that one catastrophic event that's going to take place is the coming of our Lord. Yeah. And they know that. Yeah. You can't escape it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's all going to go to end up to Him. Just like how this society say, this society be saying that death. You can't escape death and taxes and some shit sure like that. Mm -hmm. But you all gonna be led to the Grim Reaper, which is our Lord. Yeah. You yeah. know? You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna say? I'm um, even the dude that broke it down. Yeah. He said like the higher ups won't even tell him. Yeah. He said all the moves lead up to a certain event that's gonna happen yeah. in seven spaces. But the only thing they trying to do is prolong it yeah. from from happening. Yeah. But they know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. With that going to um Revelation twelve and twelve. Right, right. He know that he got a short time. Yeah. And that's yeah. why they pushing you know? right. this economic thing, the um the chip thing. They they pushing it hard, bringing them. They hard, going hard body on the famine. Yeah. You know they going extremely sloppy. You know mm -hmm. they 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 just like they just burning everything down. Man. They burning everything down. They taking. They're doing everything they have to because they know they got a short time. Even showing you that the scriptures is 100% accurate. truthful, yeah, accurate, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, right. that's a perfect word. It's an accurate, it's accurate to the T. Yep. That's right. Like, just a couple of verses we just said, so much came out of that. Came out. We didn't, you know? didn't finish the book. We didn't even finish. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We just going, but that's a spirit because that shows you the power of the Lord. And mm. this, is the, this is the thing that they fear the most. Right. You know? If your power is deception, What's the greatest, your greatest adversary? Truth. 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 Yeah. truth. That's right. So we have the truth, and they know that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And they know that without a shadow of a doubt, they come to the end. Yeah. But they're delusional. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to stay in it. We're going to stay in it. Yeah. This is Job 14 and 5. Yeah. Seeing his days are determined yeah. to know yeah. Of yeah, his months are with these. It's like it's right, like it's yeah, like because yeah, yeah. um now we a couple of us brothers we watch stupid shows like you know Flash and all this other stuff. There's a movie right now called um Doctor Strange multi yeah. multiverse. Mm -hmm. Okay, and these these ideas are not this is, this is nothing new. Mm -hmm. They just try to present it as po different possibilities of different worlds. Yeah. But the whole point of the matter is they can outlook every scenario. However they want, and it's all coming to one conclusive end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All roads lead to so one thing. That's yeah. it. All lead roads lead to who? Our Savior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The judgment seat. Yeah. All right. Judgment yeah. period. Yeah. And he's the one. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna stop everything. That's what what Genesis the forty um the forty ninth chapter tells you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Luke the twenty fifth chapter tells you. He's the person that's gonna gather all people. Yeah. All right, he's the one that's gonna bring that ultimate judgment. 
-hmm. So the, their time was been determined. Yeah. Okay, we just living it up yeah. to that point. And after that, there's no more. You can't buy extra time. Nope. You can't say, Lord, give me a little bit more time. Yeah. I can get things right. No, okay. this is it. That's right. All right. That's what it said. The scripture says, "What um, lamentations rejoice and be glad on daughter, mm -hmm. daughter. Mm -hmm. All right. Because why? You're, this is your opportunity. This is your time. And guess yeah. what? You failed miserably, which you was designed to fail. Yeah, right. You was designed to fail, so you was designed to be put in slavery. That's, right. that's it. There ain't no, you can't get no extra anything. This is it for you. Mm -hmm. You know? And we love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we love <Louis>. it. <laughs> you know? Because if this is it for you, we are next. Next. Yeah, next. That's right. So and not only next, we forever. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. Yeah. Always. <laughs> you, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so your time is done, son. Yeah, that's right. It's over for you. Yeah. Right? You still got more. Sure. Yeah. I think I keep going. Right. <laughs> Job 14 and 5 again, it says, Seeing his days are determined, mm -hmm. the number of his months are with thee. Matter of fact, Revelation get Revelations uh, 9, start at 12. Thou has appointed the bounds that he cannot pass. Mm. Now, who, who set that up? <laughs> the most high, man. Side. He said, you know what? At this particular time, at this particular point, enough is enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, yep. I, I, I had yep. enough. He's entertaining these things right now, mm -hmm. but we've seen the greatest thing that's ever happened, which people can't see it. We've seen judgment at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. That's why violence is so bad. That's why violence is on an all-time high. People, yep. It's not safe for nobody no more. People are dying left and right, getting yeah. robbed, mm -hmm. minding their business like nothing happened. And, oh, poor this, poor that. Now it's happening rapidly, man. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse because the Lord is bringing that judgment, man. You got the deaf angels. The Lord's like, hey, go get this guy. Go get that guy. Go get that guy. Go get this person. Yep. You know? They thought they got away with it many years ago. Now's the time. Get them. Mm -hmm. You know? They just, they're sharpening their sword. Like, yeah. yeah. I've been waiting for this opportunity. That's right. You know? Yeah. But so how much more? This whole entire system. Read it. This is uh, Revelation 9 and 12. It says, One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Which is what? World War One, World War Two, and what? World War Three. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, mm -hmm. saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, mm -hmm. loose the four angels. Which loose? Now, I, I, it's, you know how ill that is? Now, we watch all, you know, timepieces, right? And when you watch timepieces, you got the archers. Yeah. They, they say, and when they pull back, they said, knock, right? <laughs> Let me lock it up. Mm -hmm. And then when everybody's locked up. And then they get the command say, loose. Yep, yeah. And what do they do? Let, let go of the arrow. Let them fly. Let them fly, right? Release. Release. Yep. So then you got this particular angel that's giving the commandment to the four angels, let loose. Mm -hmm. Let them loose. What is that thing to get loose? Read. It says, uh, loose the four angels which mm -hmm. are bound in the great river Euphrates. Mm -hmm. And the four angels were loose. Which are prepared for an hour mm -hmm. and a day mm -hmm. and a month and a year mm -hmm. for to slay the third part of men. So of there, men. You, there you go. So that particular time where the Lord is going to actually destroy Esau, because these four angels, they're busy right now. You know what they're doing? They're putting messages in the world leaders. This is what you're going to do. This is how you're going to do that. Yeah, that's Revelation 7, 7 and 1. Yeah. Um, I get it. Real quick. We'll get it. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I was going to say, um, these angels solely was created mm -hmm. to for that war, for that great mm -hmm. destruction. Yep. That's why the scriptures say the judgment is already written. It's already mm -hmm. written, like you pre like the scriptures say, they prescribe mm -hmm. what they do. Mm -hmm. The most high already written out how you was going to die. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was going to, you know, start wars and start proxy wars and have beef with this nation. He's going to make it allegiance with this nation. All that was just so your other end can be the destruction of world of World War Three. Yeah. yeah. The Lord got his own death note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got his own death note. Yeah. That's right. Because these world leaders, that hey, why, why would um, Putin say the things that he just saying that we could be all martyrs? Why, why is um, <laughs> Xi Jinping, you know, saying doing making certain moves like that? Because you got angels just whispering in their ears, oh. controlling them, saying like, yo. Daniel 12, I love that. <laughs> no, but, no, yeah, that too. Yeah. Oh, and, 
and telling them like, look, this is what you're gonna mm -hmm. do. You're gonna make this move at this particular time, and this, that, that, that. Don't worry about the outcome. There ain't gonna be no outcome, you know? Because before, many years ago, people was afraid. All these leaders were afraid. Like, what? We're not, we're not gonna get to World War III, because we know that's gonna be the war to end all wars. Now they're like, you know what? Biden and his administration, they push those buttons. Hey. It, it constantly getting Russia's back, the bad side right now. Right, like, like you said just now, it made me think. The scriptures say that um, because wickedness shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Oh, yeah. So everybody got a different spirit on them now. Exactly. Like, between two, bro. You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's just like it's whatever. Yeah. I mean, we've been cold, we've been numb, but these, even these other people, bro, are doing some wild shit that a normal person wouldn't normally do. Yeah, yeah. It's because the niggas abound bounding, Lord is putting that spirit in to not give a fuck. Yeah, that's right. They don't care about what men, women, or children. They don't care how much they, their own people are starving to death. They all have the same agenda. And they don't even know that they, there's spirits on them that's pushing them to do these things. They're programmed. They're, it's exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau wants to program every last one of everybody to put a chip in their forehead. You know, he's not concerned about the chip on your hand. He's really want the chip on your mind. Mm -hmm. Because he can control that. He, he's looking for himself to be a god. Well, guess what? The god of God is a creator of all. It's setting his ass up to be destroyed yeah. at that particular time, man. Yeah, even right. if you do, do get the one in your hand and not the player, you're still done. Exactly. You know, you're still done. You so, got, yeah, bro, you got a precept you said? Um, yeah, because the brother was going, going in. On, you know, just speaking on how they just navigated through the spirit, through Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, the scripture tell you in Daniel 4 and 17, that the most high rule in the kingdom of men. You know, mm -hmm. this is um, Proverbs 21 and 1. <laughs> The king's heart is oh, in the true. hand of the Lord, <laughs> Yahweh Shin Shah, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right. Mm -hmm. And they all just going according to the Lord's will, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And I've been happening. Yeah. Go to the next chapter, yeah. over, uh, 20. Yeah, sure, 20. There's, yeah, there's, there's no such thing as free will. You got that illusion and delusion mm -hmm. that people really think. They're making their own decisions and choices, or they have great ideas. That's all implanted by the Lord. Like all the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a great idea. That's all the Lord. Yeah. The Lord is putting it on you to hate people for the nations that hate each other. Yeah. Right? The Lord put the spirit on the elites to put it on the administrations and presidents and counselors. To do what they're doing. Right? You got it. 24. 24. Yeah. Come on. 20, 24. Come on. This is Proverbs 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. How can a man then understand his own way? That's it. Yeah. There's no such thing as free will. Not at all. How can you understand your own way when you just live it by the book? You live about what the Lord already written for your life to live. That's right. I got a precept since you said that. I got, got some real quick, brother, real quick. This is, this is another show you that ain't no free will. We bring this all the right. time. This is um, Isaiah 54 and 16. Yes. yes Behold, yes. I have created the smith <laughs> that blow up the coals and the fire. He created the smith. Mm -hmm. The smith is the person, whether you got a black smith that creates armor, you got a smith that creates, that sews clothes together, that knits pants and clothes together. Mm -hmm. The Most High created the smith. Remember, he told Jeremiah, "Before I formed, when I formed thee in the belly, I knew. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee." Yeah. 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 Is to destroy Esau and Edom and his power and infrastructure. Yeah. Right. And I've created the waster to destroy. And I have created the waster to destroy. Yeah. So not only the most I created the Smith, which is the German scientist, which uh, split the atom mm -hmm. and created, uh, that used the resource to create nuclear power. Mm -hmm. He created the idea. Mm -hmm. He created the thought. Mm -hmm. you know? Right? The science, oh, he, you know, he went to school and studied. Mm -hmm. The Mosai implanted right. 
He right. gave him the spirit to research things. Yeah, yeah that to was to figure out things. That was his only purpose for being created. Yeah. Was to be a, a scientist to create these nukes. That's it. Yeah. That's right. They they came, they go they they had they got inspired, inspired me to breathe in with the idea Ooh, to yeah. create this thing. Yeah. And then right. here you go. You know, what you saying, land back it off for you. Now yeah. you got all these other scientists within these different nations, these different Smiths creating these these myths. That's it. Yeah. If they slip on a banana peel and die them off. They served their purpose. That's it. That's it. That's it. They were Smith. They created the nukes, and that's that. You know? Like, you know, those Iris, or those Iranian scientists, they got killed off by, um, when mm. Trump was in office. Right, right. They served their purpose, and they right. got rid of them. Right. And you, you got to look at you always got to look at it. Man's goings is of the most high. Mm -hmm. And even, um, you know, like Kevin Samuels, he served his purpose. That's so it. Every man served their, their, their purpose to the Lord's um, movies, programs, right? Mm -hmm. Even, you know, that's the saying amongst Jake in the world. When it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you can't pass your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why, you know, you, these Jake's out, out here get all caught up into the jump shot. And should I do this and should I do that? The most, we on the most highest time. Yeah. We're right. the most highest clock. It's calendar. So if it's your time to leave the earth, you going bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what detour, no matter where you hit. Mm -hmm. The most I got his scope on you. That's right. And it's time for your spirit to leave that body. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. That's why we're banking on the Lord. Right. We're investing on the Lord. We're trusting in the Lord. Because putting your trust into anything else is vanity. That's right. It's, 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 it's void. It's empty. Mm -hmm. There's no benefit. There's no, um, what's the invested word? Um, uh, deduction. Uh, no. There's no um, substance payback. No, yeah, no recompense. There's right, no right. nothing. There's no profit. There's no profit. That's the word. No, no ROI. Profit. No return on investment. No. Yeah. yeah. There's no return on that investment. Yeah. Real quick, just real quick. Yeah. Um, Jeremiah nine and twenty three. Thus saith the Lord: Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Mm. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorify glory in this. That he understandeth and knoweth me. Mm. That's the glory. Mm -hmm. That we know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Any glory in your skills and your talents and your mm -hmm. strength and your endurance and your stamina. Yeah. What you can do or what you can't do. You boast the glory that you know the Father through the Son. Yeah. You know his word. Yeah. That's why all these niggas out here, right? All these other camps and shit that's seeking vain glory. Worrying about the views and how many people they get and how many camps they got, they gonna be destroyed. Cause the Lord don't care about that. The Lord's looking for the men that got broken spirits and contrary hearts. Yeah. He's looking for his remnant, his elect. Not all these vain glory ass niggas. You sure you said you had something? No, no. As you mentioned, you know, the purpose of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So this is Isaiah chapter 14. I'm gonna start at 24. It says the Lord. Yahweh shall post have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. Yeah. And as I have purposed, so, so shall it stand. stand. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Mm -hmm. The most high think it and it's happening. As soon as he thinks it, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Heavy. Yeah. Right. And guess what? He's a just power. So mm -hmm. he ain't thinking nothing absurd or crazy mm -hmm. that you mortals try to uh, summarize or belittle the Lord to think. He's not man. You know? He's yeah. not corruptible. Mm -hmm. He's beyond your imagination. Yeah, beyond reality. He's beyond reality. He's yeah. beyond your comprehension. That's the spirit. You say what did you just say? What proves that? You fucking mortals. <laughs> <laughs> the chariots from you got right. so called um experts are saying that these are just beyond our understanding. Yeah. yeah. That, that's just a small thing. And guess what? The scripture tells you that. Even the angels are falling in the sight of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So um, you got to put it in your mind. You, know, you, you can't. You can't. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. And yeah. that's the way the Lord wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. But our strength is him. That's what he wants from us. That's right. That was God. That was God. That's that verse, it says that I will break the Assyrian in my land mm -hmm. and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Mm -hmm. Then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off their shoulders. Which we know Assyrian represents America, mm -hmm. right? And he's going to destroy America, and he's going to bring us from the captivity of America. Yep. Starting with the elect. 
Yeah. Next verse. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. This is what the Most High set up to do. Yep. He set us up to, 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 he gave us the Lord's statutes and commandments. We broke the Lord's statutes and commandments. We went to captivity. Nations got above us. We died at alarming rates, right? Just so he can deliver us, mm -hmm. destroy the nation that had us in captivity, mm -hmm. So his name can be elevated yeah. on the planet Earth. That's right. Yeah. So the whole world can know who is the power that rule over all powers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And that's Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you call a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you call a spoiler. The most I gave a spoiler. Yeah. I, yeah. I got something back. We, we, don't, we don't want that's out there in the movie theater yeah. saying like, yeah, we, this, this is going to happen next. Right, right. We, we, we those people that you hate the most. Everybody stopping the ears. Yeah, you're like, ah, yeah, well, that's what the scripture said. Yeah, you know, tell me, I don't want to hear that. That's what the scripture says. It said, um, trauma, you know? the trauma is oh, like a death adder. That's right. Like, yeah. Stopping the ear. Like, you know, I don't want to hear that. No, no. Speaking on to a smooth thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, give us, some, give us something nice. Like, nah, this is what's going to happen. I, I saw this already. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, this is the only spoiler that I like. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't spoil the movie. Don't spoil the movie. This is the only one I like. Yeah. I appreciate we, it. We know how this is going to end. Yeah. yeah. Sure because we in the movie, that's why. Yeah. That's right. We ain't the spectators. It's got like that inside of trading, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. the stock play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you got everything, so you hey, know what's going on. Just like right. um, we were starting out. Rebecca. Mm -hmm. The vision for a point in time. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? right, right. Yep. In order to be a prophet, you got to be a seer. In order to be a seer, you got to yeah. be a visionary. That's right. You got to see things. Yep. In yeah. order for you to see things, the Spirit of the Lord got to be with you. you yeah. be. It's like the weather forecast. Yeah. You forecast what it's going to look like the day after. Exactly. That's right? mm -hmm. yeah. that. <laughs> um, this is. Um, this is just for now. Yeah. Yeah. This is um, <laughs> Second Ezra is fourteen. And Salafia. Yeah. Oh, I know. Sorry, what? 14, 14, going down? I got, um, it's the point is that way. Um, 20, 20. Yeah. This is Second Exodus 14 and 20. It says, Behold, Lord, I will go as thou hast commanded me and reprove the people which are present. Mm -hmm. But they that shall be born mm -hmm. afterward, who shall admonish them? It's, the point is at 22. So, like, so I'm going to keep going. Okay. Who shall admonish them? Thus the world is set in darkness, and they that dwell then are without light. Yeah, hold on. It said, who shall admonish them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's showing you reincarnation, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the prophets yeah. always come back to admonish the same people. That's Ezra's, right? Yeah. Ezra said, what was me? When you when you see the vision of Jacob's destruction, yeah, Jacob's uh, destruction or, mm -hmm. or, or uh, Jacob's trouble. Yep, yep, he yep. said, who shall deliver me from those days? Yep. Good. It says, verse 21, for thy law is burnt, therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. All the work that shall begin. Mm. It's the point. It says, but it, but if I have found grace before thee, send the Holy Spirit into me, mm. and thou shalt write all that have been done wow. in the world. You mm. see, that ties right back to how the second chapter. Right, right, right. It says, that's what you said, right? Yeah, it says, yeah. um, write the vision, yeah, make it plain yeah, yeah, yeah. that he may run that read it. Right. Now, who's reading? Yeah, now, yeah. obviously, not the not the person that wrote it down, yeah. or the people that it's for. Yeah. But like Ezra said up above, who's going to reprove them mm -hmm. after me yeah, or yeah. after these times? Yeah, he asked him a question. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and then, see, Ezra's asking rhetorical questions yeah. because yeah. there was an answer behind all of them. You know, yeah. so he kind of like knew, but he was like, you know, but it's like, well, who's going to do that? Who's going to do that? Well, yeah. Ezra, you doing it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whomever you may be in the spirit, man. <laughs> yeah. you know? it, says, it says, but if I found grace before thee, send the Holy Spirit. Into me, and I shall write all that have been done in the world since the beginning. And that's beautiful because the, the Holy Spirit can only be sent by you through Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. Because what the Lord told the, the 12 day, He said, I would not leave you comfortless, but the right. Holy Spirit is going to come to you. Right. He said that in the book of Acts. Yeah. Right. All right? And He is the Holy Spirit, He's the embodiment of His book. Right. Okay? The reason why we, we got this understanding, this truth, is not as we sit here and believe in what we're saying, is because of the Holy Spirit, man. Right. Which, which is sent to you. And we was talking about the offices of, of angels. The angel give you the Holy Spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and in all of our lives, man, where, where, wherever we were before this truth, there was always an angel there just waiting for that, waiting for that to get ahead. Mm -hmm. Breathe into this man 
that uh, that inspiration. Now you don't, you know, someone will click off in his head, man. Yeah, unlock him. Uh, yeah, unlock him. Open, open it up. Loose, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, bro. It says, which were written in thy law that men may find thy path, and that they which live in the latter days mm. may live. Beautiful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we in the latter days, yep. man. Yep. <laughs> we in the latter day. We live by the words of Yahweh Bashem Right, right. You know, right. because we, 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 we try our best to keep the law, statute, and commandments. Mm -hmm. All right? Faith. You know what I'm saying? Because scriptures tell you that, that no man is justified by works, but by faith. Mm -hmm. But there's also a balance where it tells you that it says in the Prophet for two that every man shall be saved by, by, by the right. works right. and by his mm -hmm. faith in which by he believes. Mm -hmm. So in James, it says go hand in hand with each other. Faith and works. Faith without works is dead. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we, we believe this, and what we're doing right now is part of the works that the Lord commanded us. He said what? Um, Revelation 3, he said, because you kept the word of my patience, which what we're doing right now is keeping the word of the Lord's patience by doing the work. Right. He said, do the work. Now, some guys may stop watching. Low and we ain't those guys. When right. I say that, low and we ain't those guys. Right. But we seen that one picture that one guy in the chat That's earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's he gone. Some guy, you know, we knew him back in the day, but he's gone. I mean, locked up going. Locked you know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> you know, just bugged out doing some wild shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the man was in the truth at one point. Man. He was. You know, so we pray the Lord keep that covering over us because, hey, we ain't perfect. You know, we yeah. hope that we, we remain spiritual. You know, somebody fucking do some ill shit to you, you want to retaliate, and you go off, man. Yeah. Now Satan got your ass, man. Yeah. And Satan know how to get you. Satan know what irks you, what get on your skin and shit. Right. That's when you got to beat that mother effer, man. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? But what was I was I even saying, bro? What was that precept? What I said, right? Yeah, what was I was I was laying back on that, right? Yeah, the latter days. The latter yeah, the latter days. Day. Yeah, we in the latter days. Oh, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pray the Lord. Yeah. Keep that spirit on us, like King David said, man. Um, take not that Holy Spirit from us. Mm -hmm. You know, because we look at these people like they bugged out. How the hell could you not see what's going on in this earth? Well, they don't see. Yeah. They really don't see. The Lord blinded them. No matter how much you sit them down and try to break it down and slam their head into the Bible, they ain't gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, that was it, you sure? Yeah, that was yeah, it, bro. Yeah, was it, bro. This is Second Thessalonians two and eleven. And for this cause, the Most High mm. shall send them strong delusion that yeah. they should believe a lie. That's right. Yeah, as much as we believe in the truth, they believe in lies. Mm -hmm. As clear as day as we can see, we are the Israelites. The Lord is the so-called black man. The Lord only died for Israel. The Lord is only coming for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. It's clear as they believe as them being black people. They believe with all their mind, body, and soul that they are the bywords and proverbs that the devil is calling. They believe that the white man is God. They believe that they're going to be in captivity forever. They, that's as clear as they we see the truth. We can see that this world is falling apart. They think this world is going to be forever. Right, right. You know, that's a strong delusion. Right. And like the brother was building on, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven was revealed to you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't revealed to your brother, your sister, your uncle, your father, your mother, your daughter, your son. It was given on to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it wasn't given. You know, got it. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. <laughs> that all might be damned. And it's condemnation. That means their lives, they was created, they was born to be destroyed. Yes. And that's how cold the Lord can get. We understand, according to knowledge, that, you know, it wasn't in Romans 9, it said they didn't do no good or evil. Mm -hmm. It's just that was the Lord had planned for them. Yeah. And we pray and hope that the Lord planned I mean, we pray and hope that we're on the right side of things yeah, yeah. when the Lord brings his judgment upon the earth. God, bro. That's all we can do is hope that we are part of that number. Yeah. Got out. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. They had pleasure in, in all the deeds of the devil. They had pleasure in adultery. They had pleasure in abortions. That's why they're, fight, they're fighting for that shit. Yeah. That pleasure in homosexuality. They have pleasure in cutting their rods off. Mm -hmm. They have pleasure in getting uterus and all this other shit um, taken out of them. They have pleasure in that shit, getting test testosterone injections. Yeah, that's good on um, you. Mutilate themselves. 
Mm-hmm. They self immune like, like they, they destroying themselves. Yeah. yeah. The scripture said a man like that ain't going into the kingdom. Yeah, mm-hmm. how can you? You could cross them off the list. Yeah, because yeah. it's <laughs> like uh, your body is what? The temple the whole time. So you violating your body. So the spirit, the Holy Spirit can't dwell in something like that. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> the Lord said, okay, I'm gonna let you destroy your body, so I'm gonna destroy you. Yeah. That's just quite that simple, actually. Yeah, that's just how <laughs> the Lord got yeah. it. You know, that's how cold the Lord gets. And people, and Christians don't even understand that. Yeah, they read the Bible shit. every day. Yeah. Or if they do that. You know, they don't even get that. <laughs> you know, you got the ones that go to seminary, seminary school. And they don't even get that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Paying thousands of dollars not to understand what they study. Mm. Mm. yourself in debt. <laughs> you know, in debt. Yeah. That's a strong delusion. Wasting their delusion. lives. <laughs> they can be doing other types of wickedness. Yeah. Right. But they're wasting their lives trying to get the scriptures and they can't get it. Yeah. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 13. It says, Who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness? Mm. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. You got it, y'all. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it says, who leave the path of righteousness and walk in the way of darkness. Yeah, because the ways of this world is darkness, man. Like the others was going into, you know, what is Jake into, man? You know, the, the, the rainbow community, you know? They're into, uh, you know, all these other philosophies, uh, Kemet, all these other gods. You know, that's the ways of darkness, man. Mm-hmm. You know? And it says, it says, who rejoice to do evil and the light and the forwardness of the wicked. So they rejoice to do evil, man. You know? Look at Jake, man. Hey, they take more pleasure in wickedness than Esau himself. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why the scriptures say my people will become more wicked than the wicked, man. You know? Jake know how to uh, uh, break down a, uh, uh, you know, brick. You know, sell it and, you know, make however much money they, they make off of it. You know? Whatever wickedness it is, our people prosper in it, man. They love it, man. That's why when we come and, you know, teach them the right way, they hate us for that, man. Mm-hmm. You know? A prime example, man. Look at um, uh, uh, the black woman, man, with the situation with Kevin Samuels. Soon as he died, man, you know, they start rejoicing, man. You know, because what? They delight in their wickedness, man. So when a man comes and tell them about their ways, they hate it. You know? But it says, um, it hey, says... Hey, like your brother. Hey, you know what, man? Hey, let these black ass motherfuckers and these Latino spick assholes continue to expose themselves, man. Right. Because when that time comes, we know we know who the Lord gonna who, who the Lord yeah. gonna tip the scale in favor for yeah, when that time right. comes yeah. for the elect men. Yeah. Yeah. So that all that's gonna be a reward, bro. You know how good it's gonna feel to reject thousands of women at a time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tights. Yeah, yeah. You know like how like hundred, hundred, hundred niggas being a chick DM and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, all these women gonna get rejected like a mother effer, bro. That's right. So hey, continue. Celebrate, they probably drink a cheap ass wine yeah. right now. You <laughs> know, <laughs> talking shit, you know, so twerking, it's 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 twerking yeah. and shit, playing his yeah. videos, laughing and yeah. Yeah. twerking on the screen, on his face and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good fucking wild ass woman, man. That's right. So it's good, yeah, but, uh, but it's just sad what you just said because they get all excited and happy, not under- fully understanding the, the danger that they are truly in. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the, that's the funny thing about it all. You know, this is a momentary um, victory for them, so to speak. Yeah, that's a, that's actually an L. That's an L. The man was actually no. helping him out. Right, right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he was giving them a little glimpse of hope, but yeah. that's showing that no matter what, whatever advice it comes from a man, whatever, yeah. they're not gonna accept it. So that yeah. means only, and especially when the prophets say something, they're done. Yeah, yeah, they're, gonna have to die. they're gonna have to die. Because Hard really, enough. really, really, see, he was he was telling the older ones, man, really and truly. To just lower your fucking standards and humble yourself. That's it. Because there was there was a thirty five year olds, forty year olds calling mm-hmm. in talking about fat, fat out of shape and just fucked up in the mind talking about they looking for a high value man. Like why? Yeah. The fuck you out of your you out of your bracket right now, man. And that's <laughs> all he was telling them. Like now, now, now what about the regular guys? What, what about regular motherfuckers? Oh, yeah. And then they're like, oh, I don't want to lower myself. What? Man, that shit is bizarro, bro. Like, that shit just bugged out. And that's all the man was telling you to just if you want to be happy in life, then you need to fucking reduce your standards, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. And humble your ass. That's all he was telling you. Because guess what? At the end of the day, these, these miserable ass women, after they party at night and get drunk and do whatever the hell they're gonna do, they still gonna be fat, single, <laughs> seven kids, on on fucking uh Esau's life support system. You know, and still die alone. Oh, and he's gonna be forgotten about. Yeah. Where's the victory in that, man? Yeah. 
Right. Don't come running over here and tell you that right now. Yes, sir. But they, they are good. Man, that's, nah, well, you know what? <laughs> that's gonna make it. That's what's gonna make it beautiful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't well, save us. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. be saved. You know, the reality, because it's all gonna lead. Hey, just like how we spoke about, everything's gonna lead to um, to the Lord. Well, everything's gonna lead to us. And guess what? Yeah. We're gonna have the right to say no. Yeah. We're gonna have the right to say fuck no. Yeah. You know, we have the right to kill. That's right. Because the Lord is. Come on. The whole world hates the Lord. They hate the Lord's men. Yeah. They hate anything that comes from the from the mouth of the Lord's men. These are the um, red pill guys. They know they watch some of our videos, but yeah. a lot of it they get it from where? They get it from the scriptures. Yeah. So you've taken the Lord's word and they diluted it, and you reject it even at, at his lowest degree. Yeah. Because <laughs> these guys are nothing but lower vessels. Yeah. So when, I, how, when you think we are gonna come to the the higher vessels, it's like, oh, take me, take me, and like, yeah. get the hell out of here. Yeah, they got a term called uh, when they, they see they get on women that home themselves and call them pick me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like pick me, yeah. like, like what? Yeah. All, all the all the righteous and, and beautiful wow. and actually you know women in the scripture they were pick me. They wanted to get picked. Yeah, exactly. Remember Abraham's situation? He wanted they were who they were right. trying to get pregnant. That's yeah. right. That's exactly. right. You know. Yeah. So don't keep that energy is always saying. Right? Yeah. Don't be a pick me when that time comes. But yeah. Isaiah, uh, what is it? Isaiah four one. Yeah. Remember that you ain't a pick me, right? Yeah. Don't come near me. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas ain't shit, right? <laughs> yeah, right. No matter how good you look. And, I and, and, look, that's what I'm saying. And they was praying to have kids. Yeah, yeah they was praying to have kids. They was praying to have kids. Yeah. You blessed with the holy seed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said it showed the, the, uh, the degenerate seed. Isaiah 32 and 9. The degenerate seed that is taking place on the, on the planet Earth. Yeah. And everything has to get exposed before the Lord actually brings judgment, man. Mm -hmm. And these women can't, can't, can't say enough about it. Because mm -hmm. something heavy. Something deep, something bad, something evil, all right? It's coming to you women, man. And no matter how we, you know, you try to say, nah, she's all right, whatever. You know, it's like, really? I'm going to show you something. And then you're like, God damn. I'm like, yeah, the Lord's like, yeah, God damn this bitch. So we don't have no time for y'all. Mm -hmm. None. Humble pie is coming. Nah, it's going to mm -hmm. come in a, a <laughs> you know, all time great. Bring it up. Right, so Marco, you got something, right? Yeah, I just briefly wanted to, um, I don't know which other brothers going in on briefly touching up on, you know, what Kevin Sims was promoting in reference to the women. He actually was trying to, you know, help the women humble themselves because you can see, obviously, that they filled up with pride. Yeah. Just like Esau. That's how you can tell that they well indoctrinated with Esau's philosophies, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But what the scriptures say about pride, pride comes before destruction. destruction. That's what the elder brothers are getting into. Destruction that's coming onto the wicked. Especially you wicked women, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Two third. Right. Yeah. I had a quick precept before. Yeah, yeah, you guys, bro. Job 30, 39, 17. It says, Because the most high hath deprived her of wisdom, mm -hmm. neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So, you know, you could try to, like, you know how Kevin saying, he was trying to, like, explain it to them, and then, like, it's, 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 it's simple. And listen, you're not there yet. You gotta do this and do that, but they don't get it. They not, it's not going. It's not going to click. Register, right? right. It's not going to register. Going over their head. Yeah, yeah, basically, the elevator's not fully going up. And, and that yeah, just yeah. goes to show <laughs> that you know, <laughs> you know, that great wise woman is full of shit. Yeah. Right? They don't exist. You know, the woman that got so much to say, right? It's full of shit. Yeah. Right? You know, always telling you what to do and what you could do better. It's full of shit. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Because none of them got their lives together on mm -hmm. point as on point as it should be. Right. Yeah, right. Hey, honestly, bro, you as we get older as men, I know I came to this realization early as a late teen. I realized my mom was full of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, we we should all be able to fucking say that at least. That's yeah, true. You know, right. some real shit. You know, our mother's full of shit, bro. That's you true. know, and everything. And you realize that as a man, and some men don't ever get to realize that. So that's why you gotta thank y'all, watch me out, shot, mm -hmm. that you realize the shit that she put your father through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And see, as a father, most fathers, you, you know what I mean? Either they, they either they were just straight up bounce because they know themselves, mm -hmm. and they don't want to deal with the shit. It, it'll probably do more damage than good, but then the moms will turn it around and say your father wasn't shit. Right. And you would never know that. You would, you would always just thinking that the man wasn't shit. Mm -hmm. And then you got the fathers that stick around and don't say shit because he ain't trying to paint the mother like she's a devil. Exactly. But the moms will paint the pops like he's either fucking devil. Evil. You know? Yeah. But hey, you, you grow up as a man, you realize, you know, you, you see her as your mother and not, not a wife. Because that's, that's a not your wife. Yeah, yeah. You see, you know, this is your mother. 
Yeah. You know, that's it. But to to, to a father, yeah. that's her, that's his wife, man. Yeah. He got to deal with that. So his yeah. views as far as the wife material and your mom's, that's not for you to, to, to determine that. Right. You just got to view as your mother and just respect that boundary and that's that. That's right. Right. You know, because I respect my mother as a mother. As far as a wife and woman, I ain't even going to talk about that. Exactly. That's, the, that's my father vent on that part. Exactly. You know, you know, know, it's true. You know the scariest part? It's like it. You got the it. scariest thing about is what, what brothers is going into is you got grown Israelite men that take their counsel from women. That's yeah. crazy, they get their main counsel is from a woman. Yeah. Yeah. They had downplay what you're saying, but they had really take heed to what their mother's saying, their sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's that's the leaders of, yeah. of, of Israel, yeah. the, 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 the black yeah. woman right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why the, that's why the scripture say a man that is born of a woman is what? Full of the trouble, trouble. trouble in a little few days. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You gotta be born again in the spirit. Yeah. Like how about she down shot to get that man in the back? Yeah. You know? All right. Real quick precept. Yep. Proverbs 20 and 1. It says, Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is a rager. It says that whoso, whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Right. Mm -hmm. So the, the delusion is what you know, the wine that everybody's been drinking is that women have all the answers. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's 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 deception. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because like the brother said, it, it, the older you get, you realize, you know, the, the particular woman that was set up ahead of you. Women are nothing but children. Yeah, yeah. 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 And when you understand that concept, you're like, why, why was I really following her? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's a society that tomorrow we have. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's the spirit we get on the ass. Yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow is so called Mother's Day, and, right. you know, it, it comes before Father's Day, mm -hmm. right? Great. But you, gotta, you have to. Um, Honor your, your father and your mother every day. Right. And the scriptures say father first before yeah. yeah. Honor thy father and mother. But the world mother. puts the mother first. But the world puts the mother first and give her the longest month mm -hmm. whatsoever. And she can she can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. But the, the key to having all that is what? The women have the um the judgment or no accountability. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's pushed hard in the society. Yeah. See when you had, going back to this guy, when you had that individual guy, Kevin Samuels and all that thing, which is everything that they've been saying, the apostles and the elders have been saying. Mm -hmm. But they was trying to fight against the system without even understanding what they truly fight against. Mm -hmm. Now you could narrow it down mm -hmm. always the, um, liber um, the liberal, you know, not liberal, conservatives, um, conservatives yeah. liberals and all that, or the women's movement and all that. Yeah, that was part of it. But the bigger part is the scriptures, the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord allowed that to happen because he knew one way or another, man was going to fall prey to the women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which the, that goes back to, <laughs> to Eve. Yeah. You know? Um, this is something that's my guy said 31, all, 20, all, every single time. Right? I was about to say, that's the prophecy. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. He's about to get it right now. Yeah, bro. Women it. shall yeah. Go over yeah. You got it, bro. Yep, this is Isaiah 31. No, Jeremiah. 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 I got. I thought that's all I was looking for. I was taking. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go. Jeremiah, 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 Jerem
That's when this this life, this life, life begins. Life, life began already, man. That's when the sperm gets sent forth. Yeah, exactly. It's showing you that the sperm that that we give life. Men give life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no ain't no ain't no ain't by no it starts with the woman now. Nah, nah, bullshit. Why, why so you think when we why you think when us men ejaculate or let one off, we get tired as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. We done shot off millions of lives into your yeah, into yeah. your fucking punk yeah, ass, man. Right. The sperm swims. Yeah. The egg is stays still. The yeah. egg is already it's not dead, but you know, it's, it's, it's it doesn't move. Yeah. The egg the, the sperm actually swims, which yep. shows you that there's life in the sperm. Yep. You know, and that's actually a war because the sperm is fighting against other yeah. sperm just yep. a race. Yep. Yep. Into the egg. Yep. You know, you got you got warrior sperms that fight against other sperms, you know. And each of those sperms would have been a a a, 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 a particular individual yeah, within yeah, itself. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's you know? So come on, who give who gives life, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life started with the men. Women were created after the men, right? right? That's why you know? you, the, when you look up the word Eve in the Hebrew, it the um adverse to what farm. Because mm. husband husbandman is a farmer. Is a farmer. He mm. plants mm. seeds. Mm. All right? You mm. plant seeds in where? In fertile ground, which is what? It, it goes back to the basic. That's his life. Mm -hmm. But that's going just to back up what the brother said. That's what the scripture says. A little wickedness is <laughs> a, it's All nothing to it's it's little. little to a woman. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. She can't see that she has the she's an incubator that she has she helps carry life, but she wants to destroy it because selfish reasons. Right. Mm -hmm. but, you know? Yeah. But that's why the scriptures say what you're reading right now that a new woman shall come past myth. Mm -hmm. Because now they're saying they they they, they the life giver. They carry life. Yeah, they yeah. more they more important. Yeah. That's the woman come past the men. Because yeah. now it totally diminish our role. Yeah. And I say our I'm speaking as men collectively yeah. on this earth. Yeah. It, it diminished the men's importance of things, man. And to show you that Esau knew that. Right. Since the garden he knew that once he got yeah. to the woman, he would have gotten to the men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's the same old formula, man. It's the same old formula. That's why these women out there. They get all butthurt when they hear brothers talking like this. And if there's any women who watch our videos and you, and you don't like what you're saying, get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah, I'll tell you straight up, man. Yeah, all right? It. If you don't like it, go watch some fucking, some one of them women empowerment channels or shit, man. Right. Or soap operas, Oprah, some shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and if, um, if I may add to this a lot, you know, that's another thing going back to the Eve in the Garden uh, situation that actually proves right there that a woman... Cannot leave, man. Right, 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 what, right. Did, what, what did she lead us to? Death. You know, death. 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 And that shows you even down to this prophecy being fulfilled in these times. You know, it shows you we're in that latter end. Yeah. We, we, we're, we're close to the destruction. You mm know, -hmm. the Lord's judgment. Yep. All right? Because it's, it's a repeating cycle. The thing about it is what women feel to realize as well, because that's another thing. Besides them thinking that you know, Esau done manipulated them to believe that they was on our same level. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now it's to the point where they believe they better than us. Yeah. Right, right. right. We and that, that's com yeah, it's, it's completely that's nuts, joke, but bro. it's all according right. to Esau's philosophy. Yeah, yeah right? the philosophy. It's all it and the thing about it, you know, so crazy, I was watching this on um, video, right? Well a woman was actually saying a mother, right? She was saying, she said, Yeah, they you know, they told us, you know, um, to keep the men out of our house, because you know that's a part of the government funded program. Right, right, Esau's, right. Program that you can't have a man. They, they oh, she won't get the benefit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so now <laughs> what the lady was saying, right? Because now they be having a dose of reality, right? She said, you know, um, they didn't tell us, you know, uh, what, like the end game. Yeah. They were saying like we can't have the man in the house because he benefits and how they will lift us up in society and give us jobs. But what they didn't tell us that our kids will grow up dysfunctional right. because the father's not there to balance them out. What lady are you right. talking about? The, the Muslim lady? Yeah, she's like Muslim. Um, I know yeah, you're yeah. talking about, I forget yeah. her name, Ali something. Yeah, from the Yeah, I know yeah, 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 you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. This is yeah. his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Light skin sister? Yeah, yeah, like brown skin. Brown skin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown skin, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what they did tell us that we was going to be selfish. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna, we would be um by ourselves. You know what I mean? We would be widows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Esau basically just manipulated them. Yep. And to ultimately, you know, further his agenda by keeping the, the family broken up. Yep. So so we can't build, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's crazy. It, it happens everything. every day, bro, because we, we know these women that live in the houses and shit. Mm -hmm. And every other week, they're kicking a the nigga out of the house. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he's, at the, he's at the beck and mercy of that, that bitch mm -hmm. because, for one, he, he's saving money because he ain't got to pay shit because she paying, what, $50 a month or some shit? Mm -hmm. Whatever X amount a month. Mm -hmm. So now he can move in. And when they get wrong, she kick his ass out. And he's with it because now the nigga saving money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We know, I know people like this, bro, yeah, right? We all, <laughs> we, all, we, all, we all do, man. 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 We all do,
Yeah. Oh, it's more. Oh, so I did. All right, good. <laughs> no, no, you got it, Sean. Calm down. This is Proverbs 29 and verse 18. Um, it says, with where there is no vision, the people perish. Mm -hmm. But he that keep with the law, happy is he. It's going as what the brother was saying. Like, they didn't see the end game, you know? Because right, you right. both had that vision. Right. You know, but ultimately, who got the vision? The prophets. Yeah. The seers, you know? Yeah. A prudent man foresees the evil and happen right. himself. So, yeah. You know, you're supposed to, you know, have a man in, your, in the household to, to, to govern your life, you know? Yeah. But you chose to listen to the serpent, you know? Yeah. The so-called white man, and he lied to you, you know? And now, now look where we at. A, a, a nation of people that's fully destroyed. Yeah. Half of the men is, is faggots or drug dealers and uh, criminals and thugs, you know? Yeah. Half, our women is uh, adulterers, you know? They commit adultery, they, they fucking every nigga they see or any nigga that got some money, you know? And, and our people is destroyed. So what can the Lord do with you? What destroy you? You know? Y'all not, try, not trying to get right, yeah. you know? That's why the scriptures say, unless it was a remnant, you know, we would say we'll be that Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Meaning what? Completely destroyed. Right. You know? And just to add on to what you said too. Yeah. Another thing with, with women, it's a reason why, you know, they say it's a man's world. Right. So right. The women feel to realize that this world that we in is a very cruel and dangerous world. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's, and it, and it's for men, yeah. you know what I mean, to be yeah. the leaders, to provide and protect. Yeah. It's yeah. not just yeah. on a uh, uh, physical aspect, it's on a spiritual yeah. aspect. Yeah. Providing yeah. that nurturing tools, that protection, yeah. you know, which is ultimately coming from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because like the brother said, you know, who has who has that, that knowledge, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. which is that protection. And to build on what the brother is saying, women are oblivious for danger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are oblivious. Yes. They have no senses no. for mm -hmm. danger. No. Mm -hmm. They you walk know? right into it. They walk right into it. Like right. even the Satan yeah, and the right. list goes on. Yeah. The list goes on. But I got a scripture. Look. <laughs> this is Luke chapter 17, verse 27. And it came to pass. As he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee and the paps which thou hast sucked. But it's big, she's big enough to um, yeah. 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 Like, like wow, you must be blessed. Yeah. You know? That's that, yeah. that's that Catholic shit. Yeah, that's woman that worship. That's that woman worship. Queen of heaven worship. Yeah. Which that goes, well, you we gotta get that too. Hold that on that because all this vibration is, this is the latter end of it. This is a full-blown women on, on, you know, back in the back of my day, they was considered to be queens or whatever. Now they, I, I don't know how you go from um, ladies to queens to all of a sudden goddesses and you can't even do shit. But that's that's the vibration that's being put, you know. And this is what the Lord did. No, they're savages and yeah. bad. I was just saying, they call themselves so demons, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not yeah. queens. But, but they are demons. They are. It's not queens. It's savages and bad bitches. Right. Yeah, but queens are just bitch. slut, though. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. who? Huh? I'm sorry. No, let's go so These are all fucking derogatory terms. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. A pregnant fucking dog is a bitch. Right, right, right. 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 But the funny thing is what the brother just said. Is this is a man's world, right? Mm -hmm. Who put those things on them? Who put that on A man. A man. A man. A man. Right. And then, uh, the reason why I brought the goddess. No, no, no. Red man. Yes, the white man did do that. So but cool. also, you have these sip ass niggas. Right, yeah. right. Now, go, now, I gotta talk about this guy real Who was quick. raised by their mother. Who was raised by their mother, but pushing an agenda like the, the guy for light. He pushed the whole agenda that the black woman is God, right? Oh, okay. Right? But when he, the, the same week that he's saying all that, all these monstrosities that the black women do do <laughs> was on a jump street. On, on jump street. Yeah. You know? But he's one of those. Those demons that's pushing that that madness out there, okay. But the Lord put it like I said, He's gonna put us. He put a stop to that. That's what we are here for. We are here to put a stop to it. So it says, "Blessed is the womb that bear thee, and the past which thou hast sucked. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the vagina and titties." <laughs> but He said, "Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it." So he shut that bitch down. Yeah. He's like, nah, I ain't no bless no fucking pussy around here. <laughs> bless the most high. Yeah. Bless the most high. Bless the ones that keep his word. That's right. Keep his commandments. 
Ain't no blessing of goddamn woman. Ain't no woman's God. You know? And it says, and when the people were gathered together, it said he began to say, this is an evil generation. Hey, hey, wow. Right, right, right after he said that. You yeah, know that? after he wow. cried. Right? Right? He cursed them out. Yeah. This is an evil generation. They seek a son, mm. and there shall no son be given it but the son of Jonas the prophet. Yeah. That's the only son that these people want to see is the men of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only son you want to get. Yeah. You know, you ain't going to see. We see all the signs. Yeah. The yeah. earthquakes in diverse places, the ruins, the wars and rooms, the war, pestilence, famine, right, right. right? The anti messiahs, the false prophets. We see all the signs, but the only sign that these people want to get is the prophets. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and also, too, with, with Yahweh Shah, because when we read the book of Jonah, it says Jonah was in the belly of hell for three days. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It was not Yahweh Shah in the grave for, for three days. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then he rose. Yep. So that's what they see. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they seen that happen. You know, which, you know, like when you get into the prophets, Jonah mm -hmm. the prophet, who prophesied against um, yeah, Nineveh, Nineveh, which wasn't destroyed at the time of his prophesying about it, but eventually it was destroyed. Same thing with the Roman Empire, same thing with Babylon. We prophesied about it, but it's all going to be destroyed during the time, you know, when the Lord wants to be destroyed. Right? Yeah, that's that time. You know, his time. Huh? You know? Yeah. Hey, it's going to happen, man. Listen, judgment's going to happen. It's already happening. Yeah. There's no more It's going to come. It's coming. It's here. Yeah. We're living it. Yep. You know? Yeah, sure. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Yep. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Yeah, because women got to get this word too. Yeah. You know? We ain't expecting the masses, and this is only for the elect lady. All right? They gonna believe and they gonna do what they gotta do, pay their tithes, whatever. We upload brothers' videos, send um, offerings. They gonna keep the commandments to the best of their ability as well, too. But the majority of you bitches <laughs> just gonna die, man. True. True. The majority of you women, they just gonna die. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And guess what? There's more women than men. So guess what? There's going to be more Israelite women dying than the Israelite men is yeah. going to die. Yeah. Right. Many days and years shall be troubled. Many years you shall be troubled. Because the reality is going to set in. Once all this social media shit ends, mm -hmm. right? I hope Elon Musk do what he says and cut the, <laughs> cut the Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope, yeah, I hope he shut all that shit down. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Only friend to let go away. Yeah. All that shit, man. Yeah. All that all that Take fucking away the distractions. Yeah, yeah all those up. distractions. I don't know what to say that. Yeah. All that shit distracts you from reality. We were just building on that earlier on Walker Ball. Yeah. You know, bench watching Netflix yeah, yeah, yeah. and Amazon Prime and Hulu. All that shit is to distract you from reality. Yeah. It sucks you in. But that's it's a, a trap. It, it, that's the nature of a woman. Easy to be trapped up with certain things. Because it's been like the glitz and glamour. Mm -hmm. you know, right, we live in a society where the glitz and glamour is what pops your eye. Like, oh, wow. You know, the shiny, because, you know, the old saying of, like, you know, bright lights that what women likes. Mm -hmm. Like, the, 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 the nice colors. That's why a lot of them like pips. Mm -hmm. They like certain things, you know, because they like children. Yeah. You know, you, you want to put a nice color, you know, children like the color, the color yeah, book, you know, colors that, and shit. They like that stuff, because they don't have no defense, going back to what the brother said earlier. Yeah, they're oblivious. They're oblivious. They're careless. You know, oh, best movie that ever to watch when he said it the best. He said, This is the Godfather said to um Oh yeah. <laughs> to, uh, to to yeah. He said, Women and children have and they, they could be careless. Yeah. yeah. I spent my whole life trying not to be careless. He said, women and children could be careless, but men cannot be careless. Right, we can't right. afford it. We can't yeah. afford it. Because these bitches, all right, <laughs> that's y'all terminology. Y'all call yourselves that. That's so cool. I should have every right to call you that, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want and don't pay for it. Right. right. If a man slips up or do a crime or do anything, he's accounted for every yep. little action that he do. Yep. You bitches don't let a man get away with nothing. None. 
right? You you nag, you nag, you nag. You so-called call out everything that a man do that's wrong. But the moment when a man calls you out, oh my God, yeah. oh what woman hurts you? Yeah, you know, yeah. All this other bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Who hurt you? Yeah, who hurt you? Because <laughs> I'm calling you out about your bullshit, yeah. telling you the truth. Yeah, this is the world, oh, bro. who hurt you? Oh, what somebody did? So no. Bitch. <laughs> and say so you're insecure now. Yeah. 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 Insecure. Yo, and there's something about these bitches and they comebacks, bro. This right, is right. fucking like earth and shit. And then this shit. Like, like, do it. You know? Know? That's why I don't even, I don't even respond to love. Right, right. right. And right. now, in the beginning, that shit <laughs> trapped you. You're like, you know what? This bitch might be right. Right. <laughs> you know? But she won the game over and over. And exactly. now you catch on. Like, hold the fuck exactly. up. This is a, a fucking loop. It's a loop. It's a fucking time loop. It's like a, it's like a mind control thing too. Yeah. Now, yes. now you consider it. Now you trying to yeah. uh, uh, mince her ways now. Yes. Now yes. Now I got him. Yes. And the it's more you engage, the more she proving her point. Yes. Right. You got what I'm saying. The best thing to do is just fucking don't even argue, bro. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got it. It's sad because what what's a very important to a man? Time. Yes. Yeah. 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 Men don't like wasting time. Yeah. So when a man's <laughs> time is being Take it from him, she got. She feels like she has the power. Yes. Yeah. Because what? These are the certain type of traps that she has since young to, to train up to get you. Oh, you know? Which guy get it? Please get it. That's real. I got it. I got it. Bring it out. This is Ecclesiastes seven and twenty six. It says, "And I found more bitter than death the woman." Well, well, well why do you say that for? Yeah. See, oh, he oh, said it. death. It means you, you're not moving, you're, you're, you're gone, right? Yeah, I'm free. But Job said he's free. Yeah, I'm free. So he said he sounds he sound far more bitter than death. So something worse than death mm -hmm. is to live on a worse predicament, but both what? Read it. It says, whose heart is snares and nets. No, 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 no. Start back from the top. <laughs> oh, we got okay. this. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. Mm -hmm. And I find more bitter than death. The woman, the woman, right? He specified <laughs> the subject matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, he's yeah. like the brothers building on what's worse than dying, the fucking woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it says whose heart is that snares and nets. Our whole mind is to trap you. Right. <laughs> now, this is why you know us coming into the truth again, the understanding of the scriptures. We're better equipped to deal with these bitches yes, yes, on right. a daily basis. Even your woman. Right. Right? Her heart is snares and nets. Every con uh, conversation is to trap you. Yeah. Right. It's to excite you. Yes. It's to get some type of emotion, emotion out of you. Right. Yeah. That's their right. whole <laughs> fucking mind <laughs> frame. Mind you, yeah. it's for no fucking reason, yeah. Yeah. just to agitate or to get some emotion yeah. out of you. Mm -hmm. She's not a She's a she's not a um, a pillar of peace. She's a, mm. a war. Yeah, it's a war. It's, it's a war. war. And, and it goes to show. I'm sorry, bro. That yeah. that, that yeah. even when you're in a so-called bullshit, that serious relationship, it's still a game, bro. Right. It's yes. a game till either one of y'all die, right? Yeah, right. right. It's always gonna be a game. Power you know struggle. Power struggle. And yeah. then that's one thing some of them fuck up on because they believe they get a girl. Now y'all been together for a while. You can just let your guards down. Nah, no. You gotta be even more sharp than a man just trying to get a one night stand with a woman. Man. Exactly. Your game gotta be sharp as hell, bro. Because she always gonna come at you with that fucking game to. And guess what? As like you saying, after all after all is said and done, you you know, you so called uh, what's the word? Fold or submit. Right. Then, then that's it. That's it. You lost the battle. Game yeah. over. I was gonna send you for somebody else. else. Yeah. So, that's wicked. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's true, but it's right. fucking wicked. That's the game, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked as fucking hell. That's why Paul said what he said. Mm -hmm. Um 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 that he rather you don't have wives. And those that have wives though they had none. Yeah. Yeah. And and if you have a wife, you wanna have trouble in the flesh. Yeah. What do you think Paul was talking about, man? You know what he was talking about. Yeah. That game is that game shit is trouble. Hey, we had an age, I know for a brother here, where we just wanna fucking chill, man. That's yeah. right. We want a peace of mind, That's we wanna right. relax, we wanna be in, we wanna enjoy the silence, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Trust me, I love fucking silence, silence. now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like I like hearing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, not. <laughs> nah, bring out your precept, bro. Right. Come on, this is First Ezra four and twenty five. Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than yeah, father be. or she mother. Be. Yes, that goes to show because we are the dominant species. Yeah. So even in love, 
we dominate in that. Yeah. We care to fuck more. Yeah. They try to portray like they care, they love. No, we care, we love. We're right. the goal. Right. Yeah. Right? We're the guys. That's why when we fucking hurt, we ready to fucking burn the world, burn the world down. Yeah. Right, Little right. woman break your heart. You ready to kill and murder everything. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what, bro? Just to add on, because it's two different type of loves. Mm -hmm. A man love, uh, read that again. Time. Wherefore a man loveth his wife. Now we love our wives unconditionally, yeah. as we would love. Which see, see, women love with emotions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They love with feelings. That's why they like they they would, they, they would hit you with that stupid agitated question. Are you in love with me? You know? Are, are we? Are you know like like bitch? Yeah. What the fuck you asking me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I not providing for you? Yeah. That's do, my answer. Do you <laughs> love me or you in love, love with me? me? Yeah. Or, do you love me or are you love me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Both because of different. <laughs> Because you see, you love her, you love her unconditionally. In other words, she she's yours, just like how you would love your children unconditionally or your parents or whatever. Yeah. But you would love her more unconditionally because yeah. now she's your responsibility. Yeah. Now you got to take care of her. Now you do this, you do that. Now you 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 invest a lot of shit into her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As you will with your children and shit like that. Yeah. But then that in love shit and not because you know I say it like that you. You be in love, but then you be out of love. Mm -hmm. But as a man, you can't. You got a responsibility, and we right. gonna hold our own down. Right. So I can't just say we can't just be on no shit like um. Fuck it. Yeah, I, I love you, but I'm like, no. If you love a motherfucking woman, you gonna take care of her ass, man. That's, 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 that's the fucking truth. We we don't end up here with men. Was that little rascal shit? Women hater club or some shit? Yeah, he man, no. woman haters. Yeah, he man, woman haters and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we, you know, no the scripture said that we gonna become one flesh. And that's a um a, a pair bond and attachment, yeah. and we hold that sacred. Yeah. In this society, they don't hold that sacred. Yeah, no, right, 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 they right. jump off, man. Yeah. And yeah. Esau gave him that fucking uh, liberty to do so, right. and that's why it hurts the man more. Not because we're emotional, no. because we, we 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 look at you like we just lost a fucking problem, and we care about our shit. Yeah. 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 We care about our dogs. Yeah. Yeah. We care about our, you know our, our, our yeah. jackets. Our, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm just called? You lost your shit. You mad, man? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna be hurt for a little while. Yeah. You know, but a woman, see, she, she, she don't got that. She don't got that, bro. She don't got it. She yeah. weren't pro. She was not programmed to be that way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why society's fucked up. Because really, you supposed to be the only thing she loved, man. Because mm. she so she only supposed to know you. Mm. That's it. You know? Because hey, the kingdom, we gonna have a lot of women. We we gonna love them all. You may have your favorites, you may have your least favorites. Yeah. But we're going to love them all, we're going to take care of them. Yep. Yeah. We're going to have the substance to take care of them according to the law. Yes. Right. All right? Because yeah. you got a woman, you're supposed to take care of them. You know, because now we get we get piled up with women now. We don't have the substance to take care of them like the scriptures say we should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because now, now you're going to invest more substances into one more than the other. Right. And if you divide it amongst all these other women, now, now, they, now, they, now, they get, now they're taking shorts. Yeah. So we need the kingdom, man. We need riches. We need glory. We need to be kings on this earth, man. Yeah, right, right, right. That's really the only way we can have all these women. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know? yep. But yeah, finish that up. Uh, yeah, many, I'm gonna start from the top again. Wherefore, a man love of his wife better than father or mother, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits, wits. for women. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, that, and, that, and that's yeah. to their own destruction sometimes. Right. Yeah. Niggas have died. Chasing over some vagina, man. Mm -hmm. Remember Jay Z made that song, It's the Power of the P U S S Y. Mm -hmm. That's why every nigga in the hood get fly. You know? <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Niggas go out their way for that vagina. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. A young man would actually try everything under the sun just for attention mm -hmm. for, for, for women. Yeah. And that's why a lot of these guys be dying the way they die. Mm -hmm. You know? Because they put in their strength. Which I guess in Proverbs. That's yeah. in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, it's a woman. They, they, call it, they, they call it peacocking. Yeah. Like when you try, you know, like peacock, they, the male peacock is way better than the female peacock. Uh, yeah, the yeah. female peacock is bland as hell. It should look like just a, a, a black shadow or something. But, but yeah. we, uh, talk, we talk about this before, brother. What, yeah. what do that mean? That means that the man is a beautiful. The man is dominant. Yeah. Even beautiful. the male duck got the nice shiny green yeah. neck and the patches yeah. and all that. Come the on. male lion is majestic. Oh, the male yeah. of all creatures, because oh, the males just... are the ones that are always peacock in nature. In other words, the men in the kingdom, the men are gonna peacock. Yeah. Why we gonna have that crown, that mantle, the riches, the yeah. glory? Yeah. And they gonna the bed. They they gonna want. They gonna they gonna be regular. I mean, I say regular. I don't mean like like bums and shit. But they gonna be not yeah. like us, right? Yeah. They gonna be regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they, they gonna want that glory. They gonna 
Like the scripture saying Isaiah 4 and 1, only let us be called by thy name. Yeah. So they're gonna their they glory is gonna be to be called by our name, man. That's right. Not the other way around. Oh yeah, that's my girl. You know what I mean? Niggas be like, yeah, that's my girl and shit. Right. Right. Gonna be doing that. Let that bitch say, yeah, that's my man. Let her glory about you, man. You know what I mean? Because they know they can feel that energy when you when you put them on a pedestal, even if you don't say it. They feel that energy, man. And they don't respect you know? them. And they, they damn sure respect, respect them. them. You treat them like yeah, uh, see the fuck as fucked up as it is, you treat them like shit. They, they yeah. love you. Because yeah. of what? Because yeah. they got demons on them. They got yeah. demons on them, bro. And, 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 and let's face the facts. They got demons on them. You want to treat... If you think you're something special, you gotta, you got to be treated to be beneath you. Yeah, if you're the prize. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to look at yourself back down. That means that you got something up there is wrong. And we took... Every, every since we was young, we always thought things wrong. You know, because each this whole society is a poison. You know? Why would a man lose his wits for a woman when she's nothing? There's more women... Than men, yeah. Yeah. so that that in itself says a lot. Yeah. You know, it's like someone say, "Oh, uh, the, about a, ma a man's masculine energy." What what masculine energy are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Because every man that's born, well, not these days, but <laughs> y'all were born, they had certain type of energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's up to that man to give out that energy wherever he, he wants it, mm -hmm. and it, it fits on. That's why you want them to have one wife. Mm -hmm. She's gonna have your energy. You know, mm -hmm. that's a masculine energy over her, overpowering her. But this society, women are they're all over the place. They take in all types of demons, mm -hmm. all types of um, energies, and they they think that this one is more dominant than the other. Yeah. That's why they would pick the niggas with the pants hanging down their ass. You know, niggas mm -hmm. that get shot. You, you know, certain a certain stereotype because they believe that's what masculine energy is, but that's not masculine energy. That's weakness, man. Women, uh, Apostle Gabal said that women are agents of chaos. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're attracted to chaos. Bitches. Yeah, that's and chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why a woman would deal with a drug dealer nigga, stash his drugs away, hide his guns, because once again, they are oblivious to danger. Yep. They have no senses when it comes to danger. It's thrilling to them. It's a thrill. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. And that shows you that they fucking kids. Yeah. They want that thrill. And if yeah. and like, like Paul said, man, if you marry, prepare for trouble, you flesh. Okay. Because that all comes with the territory. Yeah. And we ain't saying this shit. We ain't saying this shit because we just fucking finished watching the Kevin Samuel video before we put this on. We lived it. Yeah, that's right. right. We still live it, man. I'll yeah. tell you right now, these women love chaos. And, and when I was more young and more sporadic and doing whatever the fuck I want to do, Yo, it's right. entertaining. It's entertaining, and then the bitch, they love that shit, bro. Yeah, they, love they love it, man. It's it's that never a dull moment. They like that shit, and that's just my personality. I never tried to do. It. We we don't really try to do shit. Mm -hmm. right, right. I was just up and bouncing out and and just disappear. Mm -hmm. And it really and truly, I'll be going to a brother's crib, man, mm -hmm. and just going hang with a brother and just leave a bitch thinking and guessing like, hey, where the fuck you at? <laughs> and then I come home and worry about where the fuck I was at. That's it. Really, I was doing work. I just, I literally just probably did a video or something. Mm -hmm. That's why Impossible Bar going back to the roster skink slut video, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? He said you gotta limit your time with your woman. That's right. You know, don't be up under your woman all the damn time. That's game, Because your woman's vibrations will rub off on you. That's right, man. You know, see, that's, that's game. That's that's yeah. before the red pill community, bro. That's, that's, way that's straight up game right there, man. And that's in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, give not thy strength unto a woman. woman. That's right. You got to remember, you know, we're sheep. You know, sheep follows the herds. And we're product of our environments. Mm -hmm. Birds of a feather flock together. That's all the niggas, all the world terminology. But it's true. Mm -hmm. The more that you're around something, you become what you are around. Right. You know? We, that's why when you come to the truth, you become, you start your own, you got to say it like that, your own trend. You don't mm -hmm. follow the people. Yeah. People follow you. Mm -hmm. You know? Because it's that energy. When a, a young man doesn't receive that energy until he gets older and wiser. You know? Some people will say that the finances and all that. No. It's about your spirit. That's why the scripture says remember yourself men. Mm -hmm. Men give a certain vibration. We the givers. They are the receivers. So if a man is around his woman all the time, he act like his woman, mm -hmm. there's something wrong with him. She's a masculine one. He, she's a masculine one. She's, she's a dominant, dominant. She's a dominant mm -hmm. one. Why is she the dominant one? Because that man hasn't found himself or he, he just... He's, he's still, still a child. He's still a child. He hasn't grown into a man and, yet. Isn't because that? a child follows his mother. Right. His child still looks for 
the mother to nurture and take care, mm -hmm. to give the answers and all that. Right, right. A right. man sets his own track, he makes his own path. Exactly. Yeah. He leads his own way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm sorry, bro. If yeah. you talk about you got it. And the scriptures make us men. Exactly. And the scriptures make us leaders. Every brother that you see is future leaders. Yeah. We're following, um, we're following the examples on earth, the apostles, the elders, the great millstone. We're following our spiritual father, uh, our, our redeemer, Yahweh Shah. Still more that. And it's yeah, making us to be men of the Lord. Yeah. You understand? We're being groomed mm -hmm. to be kings and, and, and priests. Priest. And that's the highest level that you could ever have in, in on earth. earth. On earth, period. Yeah, king or priest. Other than a prophet. I got it. All right? But no, there's a little bit more to that one. Okay. Yeah, come yeah, I, I just wanted to make a point, too. No, we didn't. Um, go to the yeah. Yeah. Um, Back in First Ezra 4 and 26, uh -huh. yet many there be that have run out of their wits for women mm -hmm. and become servants for their sake, mm. many also have perished, mm -hmm. have erred, and sinned for women. Mm -hmm. right. Keep going. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all the regions fear to touch him? Mm -hmm. um, I want to skip down. Yeah, real, 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 real quick. Real quick. You know, many have erred and died <coughs> for women. You know, <coughs> celebrating Christmas. Celebrating Thanksgiving, celebrating birthdays, celebrating, you know, whatever holidays that this world celebrates, people will do that to appease or keep the peace exactly. with their woman. Exactly. When in reality, once again, you're supposed to be walking in your own lane and your woman is supposed to follow your lane. Right? right now, of course, if your woman's an unbeliever, she's going to believe and do the things that she's going to do. But you don't got to partake. Right? You ain't got to fucking so-called celebrate what they celebrate. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you're in your own lane, path, and lead. Mm -hmm. right, right. And if she doesn't accept that, that's, she can fucking hit the door. Hit the she can hit the haystack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She can fucking kick rocks. Because yeah. you the precious. Yeah. You will get judged. That's, 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 the, that's the part. You will get jacked up. The most I will fuck you up. Yeah. Because you ain't following the, what the Lord said, but you following what your goddamn woman says. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you got it now. Yep. Good to point. Right. This is verse 34. O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven. Mm -hmm. Swift is the sun in his course, for he compasses the heavens around about mm -hmm. and fetches his course around <coughs> again. That shows you that the sun... The sun actually goes, moves, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Keep going. But that's not the point. And fetch his course again uh -huh. to his own place in one day. Uh -huh. Is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore, great is the truth. Great is the truth. Mm -hmm. right. And that's what it's all, it boils down to. It's not the power of the woman. It's not the power of a king. It's not the power of any other wow. thing. It's the power of the truth. Mm -hmm. All right? That is why it makes that's why it separates us from everybody else because we have the truth. And the what the truth is what leads us to become men. Mm -hmm. So when you see a person because they don't they don't have that type of energy that you expect to see, because you're not in the truth. Right, right, right. When you be around brothers, every brother got his own energy. There's a <laughs> dominant masculine energy because he's in the truth. Alright? We're not clones of one another. No, right. We're set with different powers, man. You ever look at a, a there's different uh, thousands, probably millions of different flowers, different right. colors. Mm -hmm. You know, they same species, they flowers, right? They also they, they, they also they purpose. It's the same thing with us. So when a, when somebody try to you know, and that's wow. the thing, you know, you, they talk about what um, the high value of males and all this other stuff. I, they don't have no value, period. No. Because they're not in the truth. <laughs> you know, they're not in the truth. And what is the truth? That we serve you, how about you, how shy? That's right. You know, this is the truth. Do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This why this is why the Lord is grooming us to become leaders of, of people of men. Mm -hmm. All right. Because to be able to to tell people what to do and, and do it right. That's mm -hmm. right. See, right. anything else that has been that was uh that could be considered to be uh how to be was all a lie. Mm -hmm. 
what a, a man today is is because what Esau told a man to be. Yeah, it's Esau's right? definition. That's it. A, a family today is what Esau said is definition. a family. Definition. You know? Mm -hmm. So the truth is everything. The truth is sets the bar over all, man. Mm -hmm. so this is what, yes, a little bit more. I'm going to finish it. Uh, it says, and stronger than all things. Stronger than everything. Because strength and women don't go together. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. All right, a man is a man holds strength. Okay, the woman is the receiver. <laughs> that's all. Right. But Literally. above all things, the truth stands strong, and that's why they can't stand us, particular men, mm -hmm. in particular men that has value, men that believes in this truth. Yeah. That's what the scripture says. She that is my enemy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what did she say? She's like, oh, where's the Lord? Because you hold a higher standard, and say, this is why you, this is your back. Mm -hmm. She's going more what the society is saying how to be strong. You have to have a, a big account. You have to um, be six feet, uh, uh, six, six figures, six figures. All these other things that has been molded in your mind, they believe it's true. But it was all a lie because they like this big one back song says, "Tell me lies, tell me sweet sweet little lies." That's mm -hmm. all they. That's all they know. Women love love to be lied to. Yeah, that's right. So, if they love to be lied to, they enjoy the, the, the deception of it. What is their they natural enemy? True, true, true. So there you go. And that's, that shows you that Esau and the, the, Esau and the so called women, all women, all right? All women, because a woman could be in China right now acting up, bugging out right now yeah. because of whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? A woman could be in freaking South um, America and the Amazon be bugging out. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just the, uh, the Babylonian. The Babylonian women are the worst. Yeah, they're the worst. They're the worst mm -hmm. of the worst. But when it comes to truth, that's the they have a problem with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's why there's going to always be a, a conflict between men and women. Because men, well, real men, yeah. <laughs> real men stand by truth. Mm -hmm. Which truth is what? The most high, your house. Yeah. And women are nothing but lies. That means what? They're nothing but the yeah. That's why. They, that's why everybody calls a woman what? A demon. What demon. <laughs> right? right? You know. And if I could just add this point, one thing, Jake. You know, Jake that's watching. You know, brothers and few sisters that may be watching. What, what, what we all are just reiterating and, and, and making vivid is what is the most valuable point of our existence. Mm -hmm. You know, this point right here, because that's the thing, like, you know, a lot of Jake's, Jake's got to understand the different elements of this realm we in. This scripture basically briefly touched upon that, which is first as a full, right? It talks about, you know, um, the different, the different kind of powers, whether it's a man with a sword or, you know, a king and so forth. And then it goes in on a woman, you know, and then obviously he speaks about what's that superior power. And that's his truth. Why is the truth the superior power? Because it's the knowledge and wisdom of our Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Yep. All right? That's what completes us, completes our existence. All right? That, this is what gives us a purpose on actually living yeah. beyond what we was taught to live. Because we was taught to be slaves and peasants. Yeah. This truth is, is grooming us to be real men. Yeah. You know, teaching us how to be rulers, teaching us how to be kings, mm -hmm. teaching us how to govern a home. Because it clearly shows you that it's not for a woman to lead. Mm -hmm. right? That's not the correct order of the most high. Right. The scriptures talk about the Lord did not usurp a woman a authority over, over a man. Mm -hmm. You know, a woman does not have authority over a man. Yeah. In the church, she's supposed to keep quiet. It's the order. Just say how Yahweh Shah is it, first is Yahweh, then it's Yahweh Shah, then it's the Israelite man, mm -hmm. then it's the woman, then it's the children. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the order of the most high. Mm -hmm. You know? And what we're seeing is the, the disorder of, of everything that the Lord created. Mm -hmm. That's why everything is so dysfunctional because yeah. what the Lord the most put in place in ways is not on the earth. It's not on the, on the earth. So this mm -hmm. is the, the defect of, of everything. That's why everything is seeming a civil war in everything. In everything. In everything, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is it, you know, of course. Everything's out of course. Mm -hmm. Because he set things in order and, okay. Now you want to the Lord entertain the thought of man, saying, let me do this that way. All right. Yeah, do it this way. And everybody is miserable. Yeah. You know, and he's using the right vessel to do that. Yeah. The, the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Yep. Mm -hmm. The uh, favor be shown unto the wicked, 
Yeah. Yet he will not learn righteousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the land of uprightness, will he not um will he deal unjustly? Will he deal unjustly? Yeah, will he not deal unjustly? Yep. Because the devil's in power. The things is turned upside down. You know, women's got power to uh women are judges, women are police officers, mm -hmm. women have got the power to kill their children. You know, it's nothing but wickedness. It's nothing but pure mm -hmm. wickedness yeah. and confusion, adultery, idolatry, almost uh, uh, sodomy, and the list goes on. Pedophilia, pedophilia, Bicial. oh witchcraft Bicial. at an all time high. Oh, yeah. You know, yep. it's nothing but pure fucking wickedness. Mm -hmm. And the water, the water, the water, Yahweh Yahushua for leaving a remnant. Yeah, because yeah. it's only that remnant that's gonna be different from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Only the small few. Because everybody's talking about what's right. Oh, why don't we just, all we got to do is love. And can we all yeah, just get along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Jake, they all speak a good game. Yeah, that's all it is. They all talk good, but nobody lives good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And living but, good is living according to the ways of the most yeah, optimal but, son. Yeah, yeah, but what is good, though? What determines good? That's the scriptures. The scriptures, exactly. Right. Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah. This is um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. 12 verse and brother. Yeah. On 12? Yeah, what it says about that? Um, mine is many books. Oh, okay. I, um, I sort out. Does it say that? The inventions. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go back to it. Yeah. Um, this is, I'm going to um, read it again. This is mm -hmm. um, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Yahushua and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. Yeah, this is the whole duty of men. You know, people try to figure out why was I born, why was I created, yeah. what is the purpose of my existence. That is your purpose, to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. Right. Your, your purpose ain't to, you know, go to the highest mountain and, you know, take pictures. Yeah, yeah. take pictures and selfies. I, I climbed such a session. You know, or to, to cure AIDS and cancer and all the other devices that people look for salvation or mm -hmm. peace. Your salvation and peace is supposed to be in the most high and the sun and his word. And that's what the Lord said. I, I, I have a water that. When they drink, they shall not thirst again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? You find your purpose. Mm -hmm. Men, women needs purpose. Right. So if you don't have a purpose, you purpose you're purposeless. You're gonna always wonder and do whatever. <laughs> what then? Israel have not obtained that which you're seeking, seeking for, mm -hmm. but the elect have obtained it, mm -hmm. and the rest were blinded. That's why they still on that game against the will, trying <laughs> to figure out. You know how they escape, but they're never going to escape. As long as you do wickedness, as long as you're not repenting, you're never going to escape. Yeah. Right. You're going to continue to live in sin and wickedness until the Lord destroys your ways. Yeah. Jake, you know how do we get out the hood? And why are we going to stop killing each other? Yeah. Keep His commandments. Jake done tried everything else in the world, but trying to keep the commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, bro. Yeah. And they gonna keep continuing to try to do everything, but like and we, we need our own businesses. Yeah, like yeah, black excellence. We need our own neighborhoods. Yeah, black yeah. Niggas been getting money since the nineteen twenties. We need to go back to Africa. Africa. Yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, niggas ain't doing that. No, we need we need our own money. Yeah, oh, man. You know. Yeah, we need to build community. our own communities. Yeah, yeah. In New Jerusalem. Yeah. 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 All Jake is seeking, but can't find it because it was given on to your left. Yeah, right. that's crazy. Though. And it's and it's real simple. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is keep the words of the Bible to the best of your ability, man. I guess. And, and not give yourself to the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Sacrifice your desires, follow after the Lord. But they give in to their flesh. They give in to their desires. Mm -hmm. Their God is their belly, which is your desires, your wants. This is um, Joshua 1 and verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of the law, the law, statutes, and commandments. 
the first five books of Moses, guy. But thou shalt meditate there day and night. And that's what you're supposed to be doing as an Israelite man, woman, and child. You're supposed to be meditating upon the scriptures day and night. If the Bible isn't coming out your mouth, then what the fuck are you talking about? Right. Mm -hmm. You know? If you ain't talking about the scriptures, the prophecies, the things that's going to happen, you know, the kingdom of heaven, what the hell are you talking about? Mm -hmm. It's garbage. Yeah. Vain talk. Vain. Vanity, nothing. Yeah. yeah. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written there. It says, for then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Keep the commandments. Yep. Now, of course, we're not going to be saved from keeping the commandments because we can't keep all the commandments. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord gave us sinful flesh. He gave us chains of darkness that this body is a body of sin. The body craves to go off. Mm -hmm. It was created that way. Mm -hmm. To be corruptible. We wasn't created to be perfect in this flesh. Right? But we try to keep the commandments to the best of our ability because we show our faith through our works. So we don't rob each other. We don't try to sleep with each other's women. We don't worship other gods. We try to keep the Sabbath to the best of our ability. We don't have sex on the Sabbath. Right? We keep the high holy days. We try not to eat abominable foods. We do what we can. Hoping that the Lord has mercy upon us when he returns. That was it? Yeah, that was the point. That was the point. Yep. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse, um, I'm going to start at 17, because you were saying earlier how, you know, men and women, they're supposed to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, men and women are supposed to have a purpose on this earth, you know, because, you know, animals, you know, they have their purpose, which is them, you know, following after the instincts that the most high gave them. Right. But men and women, you know, our purpose really is supposed to serve you, how about shot? Right. You know, we're the, we're the highest form of, of a beast. You know, so that's why I'm about to go into yeah. you know high, high, highest form of being. Mm -hmm. You know this is um, Ecclesiastes chapter three. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start at seventeen. Mm -hmm. It says, "I said in my heart, Yahweh by Shinyat Shah shall judge the righteous and the wicked, but there is a time there for every purpose and for every work." Right. I said in my heart concerning the estates of the sons of men that the Most High might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, they themselves are beasts, man, because you know, when you're not following the law, statutes, and commandments, you, you're living like an animal. So, so you're just following you. after your flesh, you know, you, you after your instincts, you know, you let, which your instincts really is is different uh, demons, spirits right. that possess you, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you know, you going and you know, eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, and all these things, that's a demon that's on you, mm -hmm. you know, you're following after the lust of the flesh, yep. you know. So you're living like an animal. You're living like a beast. Animal you know, that's why the scriptures say that the Mosa made men upright, but they have sought out many mm -hmm. devices. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what makes us upright is the law. Yeah, that's right. what the Heavenly Father gave unto us. Yeah, that's what makes you a real man. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The law governs men. Yeah, the law governs men. You know? You know just to add on, because mm -hmm. you have like what? In the society, you got the Constitution and all mm -hmm. that. They say yeah. that we, we go by the Constitution. That's a law. Yeah. There's laws of the land, right? Yeah. And that's what the government will make sure you don't do certain things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So men always have men and women always have to govern themselves mm -hmm. proper. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't govern yourself proper, you're nothing but a beast. You know, yeah. you don't differ. Yeah. That's you know? what I'm like. Let us make men in our likeness yes. and our image. And our image. And his image is not just a likeness, mm -hmm. it's a keeping the law. Yeah. Yeah. Order. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. right? And everything yeah. goes by law. Order. Yeah. Order. order. Yeah. order. Yeah. You know, um, you don't have order, you have chaos. chaos. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you can't have chaos in the world. And the Most High gave us the law of life. Right. That's why the Lord said what in, in the law when He gave some, uh, the law to Moses, He said what? Um, uh, basically, if you keep them, you shall have life. Right. If you don't, you know you're gonna get death, death right. you know, destruction, cursing. This is the blessing, man. If you want to be blessed, you want to have life. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Right, right. But if you want to die, you want to get fucked up, man. Don't keep the laws, and that's what got us in, the, in this predicament, man. Yeah. You know, because hey, going back to the woman, the woman deceived Adam. He was deceived, and, and what, what happened, man? Death came into the world, yeah, sure. you know. And it was to what through the devil, man, the, the, the deceiver that was in the garden at the time, man, which was the so-called white man. Yeah. You know, he came to the woman. You know, just like now, you know, the so-called white man, he 
uses a woman to push his different agendas on the next generation. Oh, yeah. You know, that's why you have now you have all these flaggets running, running rampant, man, because a woman, you know, uh, is, 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 is the head of the household, man. Yeah. You know, so, so a son come over, mommy, I'm, I'm gay. Oh, oh, it's okay, okay my son. It's okay. I still love you. You're still my son. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, this is how you were born. You know? That's what? They, they, they rule by their emotions, man. They don't look, rule by logic, man. Let yeah. my son come around and tell me he's a flag, man. Yeah. Nah, oh, damn, they kill him, man. Yeah. Real shit, man. That, that's not my son anymore, man. Yeah. If my son comes and tell me he's gay, he's not my son anymore, man. See, it's right. You know? It's, it's right. right. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a, a degenerate, degenerate vibe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how you gotta. You, people fail to understand that the how, how to think correctly. Mm -hmm. The key thing that he said was emotions. Mm -hmm. The world's an emotional state right now. Everything is about emotions. Mm -hmm. Now, emotions don't lead direction the right direction. Somebody, you might some you know the routine. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the hood steps on another man's sneakers yeah. through emotions. Somebody end up dead. Nigga moment. Nigga moment. But just really analyze that moment for one second. The shoe, you could easily wipe it off. No right. problem. That shoe, there's no damage to that shoe. It's, that shoe could be easy, you know, taken fix, care of and fixed. But a life is precious. Yeah, dang. All right? But they don't see it that way because, what, of emotions. They don't, not only because of that, because they're in a BC state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Group well, piece? actually, yeah, go back to Genesis um, 6, six? Four. All right, all right. All right. Okay. you had that, right? Yep. Okay, Psalms 14 and verse 1 mm -hmm. it says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. So, the fool has said in his heart, There's no God, right? So, that's the number one problem. That's actually the source of all the problems. When somebody says they don't, there's no God, there's no creator, there's nothing above him, all right, like he created himself. Then he felt he lost already. Okay, he he sees himself as something. Here it is: you go as a man, you go through certain stages in life where you doubt yourself and doubt this that. And just because you have a little bit of knowledge, you think you're above and that you created everything that's around you. No, it's something that created you ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So a person that says there's no God, that you just waste your time. Like yo, yeah. <laughs> you just need to be destroyed. Yeah, so, you know? so, and conversation funny, over. Conversation yeah. over. And everybody that did, scientists or whatever, said that um, there is no God at the deathbed. Guess what they said? Yeah, there is a God. They, there is a God. Mm -hmm. You know, because that, that's the the trick that the Lord has, has put on men to no. believe them to believe there's yeah. something beyond themselves, right? All right, but this more like it says they are corrupt. Mm -hmm. They have done abominable works. Uh -huh. There is none that doeth good. Uh -huh. The Lord looked down from heaven. The upon, Lord looked down from heaven uh -huh. upon the children of men uh -huh. to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. So did anybody understand and seek God? But if you're in a BC like state, you're not gonna seek nothing. No, nope. you're gonna seek yourself. You know, if you ever watch, you know, not watch, but I got a dog. I had a lot of dogs. Anybody had dogs? Yeah. Well, how does a dog greet itself or greet another dog? Sniffing. Yeah, Sniffing yeah, his butt. Yep. We all know what comes out the butt. Shit. Shit, right? Mm -hmm. But that's how they greet themselves. So you have nothing but people out there <laughs> doing the most um, beastly things that's possible to greet themselves thinking they're something special. But um, you must have followed them. That's why the Lord said you find nothing, none of them was doing good. None of them understood, except for those that he gave that knowledge to. You gonna say that? I was gonna say animals don't look up. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking like animals don't look in the sky. No. You know, because there's nothing in the sky for them. No. Yeah. Yeah. But yet they still believe in the higher power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlike men. Everything else in the everything that's created believes in the yeah. higher power, yeah. except for men. Except for men. But there's a reason to that. Because we said it earlier, the Lord has to, to put that vibration in there. Yeah. And the only way he's going to do it, the only way he decided to do it, he could have done it any other way. He's going to forcibly, because man only knows one language, violence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's going to forcibly put his name, you know, like, damn, this is the work of your Bash and your Shot. Those men were right. Yeah. You know, those men were right. Mm -hmm. We was we was beyond ourselves. How we, why, why were we acting like that? You know? Then that's, that's what is going to kick. But by that time, the world's going to be in a in a winter like destruction on right? fire on fire when it, the world when the Lord's name being praised on the planet Earth by all these other nations they're gonna be in subjection but they're gonna love that subjection they're gonna be like this is the way 
Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the only way. Because when the righteous are in rule, the people rejoice. Right. Us being in power, under our power, Yahweh Barshim, Yahweh Shah, righteousness is going to be uh, dictated on earth. It's going to, it ain't going to be a democracy. It's going to be a dictation. That's it's going right. to be a monarchy. Yep. Yeah. And it's, right. it's going to be the king's word, and that's it. That's it. It's going to be final. That's right. That's and how it's supposed to be. And the Lord's statutes and commandments is going to be dictated on the planet earth. That's right. Which means righteousness is going to be on the planet earth. Yeah. So that means if somebody see, it ain't gonna be no damn prisons for rapists and pedophiles yeah. and, and child molesters and and all types of wicked, abominable yeah. works. Them niggas gonna get put to death. Mm -hmm. Sight. Mm -hmm. Sight. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no, you know, court, court. you know, <laughs> for some damn serial pedophile, and he's gonna pay off the lawyers and pay off the jury. Now, I ain't gonna be none of that. Just, if you break the Lord's statutes and commandments, you're gonna no, suffer no, the consequences no, for breaking those Lord's statutes and commandments. No, and guess what? No, no, There's no, gonna no. be land savage. Mm -hmm. That yeah. means the earth is gonna be able to oh. rejuvenate itself. Okay, right. right? There's gonna be land savage, and all the um, laws concerning planting and farming yeah. and tilling the ground, and then all, remember, the scriptures say, Turn your um, weapons of war into plowshares yep, and yep. pruning hooks. Mm -hmm. No more violence. No more violence. They're no. gonna be no. Everybody's gonna come to one conclusion. Hey, like this is it. No mm -hmm. more different. No more um, differences, so to speak. Mm -hmm. No more um, um, prejudice, so to speak. Yeah. Well, you know, except for us, you know. But, <laughs> yeah. but no, none of that, man. No, mm -hmm. no more being a, um, um, being used and abused for something. That you're not gonna get properly paid for. Yeah, you know, pay, pay the daily wages. You, you're not. Mm -hmm. Your women are gonna get raped by, and then not be taken care of. Mm -hmm. right. you're, you're gonna have land. You're gonna have everything that your heart desires. That's right. You know, and even the heathen's gonna be at peace. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. When everything's said and done. Yep. Back to arrange marriages. Back to arrange marriages. Have the true happiness. Mm -hmm. The true love, because love is just they, they they abuse that that words to this day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the most one of the most abused word ever, but you're gonna actually see it by the action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, people are gonna actually live a better life mm -hmm. in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's what the truth yeah. does, though. That's the what that's the, and that's the point. Well, the truth <laughs> puts everything in order, right. proper order, yeah. and what order produces mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like the opposite, chaos. Mm -hmm. what, what what it produces? Destruction, mm -hmm. war, yeah. war. Tears, yeah. people crying, yep. mm -hmm. mourning, people mourning, mourning, starvation, mm -hmm. famine. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. beast, this random beast going, just coming around, this, this watering things. They gonna be well. <laughs> certain things, to a certain degree, is gonna take place in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotta be some type of payback, gotta retribution, because yeah, yeah. that's the only way the Lord created things. Yep. Yep. That's true judgment. That's true. That's true. That's true. That, that balances everything out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. He that leads to captivity shall go into captivity. It must happen. It must, it must happen. happen, you know. Yeah. It's just only right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's what happened to the, to the heathens, though, because Israel is going to be blessed. Yeah. The Lord is going to have to show his judgments on some people. Mm -hmm. That's not yeah. going to be Israel. That's going to be the heathens. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be the ones to go off, and we're going to be the ones to exact the judgment upon them. Mm -hmm. If they commit adultery, they're going to get put to death. They're worshiping other gods, you know, eating all these abominations. Israel is going to be the police force of the earth, man. Yeah. yeah Come and exact that yeah. judgment upon them, man, for the evil that they have done. Yeah. And what is the law says about, you know, basically uh, putting somebody to death so that all Israel can hear and fear. Yeah. You yeah. know, so, so when the rest of the heathens, once they see that judgment, it's going to keep them away from doing whatever the person wickedness. that got judged, yeah, whatever wickedness the person that got judged did. Yeah. You know, I'm going to stay away from committing adultery, man. Yeah. So I, got, I had an example of, you know, somebody that got put to death because yeah. of that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it brings out quick. You know, right. what brother said when we go into this is um and Psalms one twenty two and verse five. For there are set thrones of judgment, mm. the thrones of the house of David. Ooh, the elect. Yep. It's all about the elect in this society. Every you know, you don't hear about. We hear about these people. You know, what I'm saying they they call themselves the elites. They they they, they, they hidden somewhere, mm -hmm. but the elect is going to be seen by all. Yeah, and you're going to know what they represent. They represent the house of David. Mm -hmm. 
under David, who's under Yahweh Shah, who's under the Most High. The, the order of things, man. Yeah, brother, did it show? And the Apostle Paul did a response. He said, the elites rule in secrecy. Yeah. Yep, yep. But the elect is going to rule openly. Yeah. Yahweh yeah. Shah is going to rule openly. Because when you do things secretly, that's a shameful thing. Yeah. Yeah. When you do things openly, that's, like high, that's a, yeah. But that's truth. Yeah. You know, when you open, like, this is it. Yeah, you are secret. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you can be seen. You can be seen. That's right. That's how the house of things is going to be seen through for everybody, man. Yeah. The true stars of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to be examples to the world. Yeah. How to be. Yeah. So they're going to look at our works and, you know, how we behave. And they're going to want to seek to be like us. Yeah. You know? The heathens, they're going to look at Israel like, man, this is what we're supposed to be like. Yeah. You know? yeah. God's on earth. Which you'll yeah. never achieve, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, won't. they won't achieve that. Yeah. Okay, bro. Um, it says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yeah. Well, shall I read it again? Yeah. This is um Psalms yeah. 122. Yeah. Psalms 122 and verse 5. For they are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. And notice it said thrones as in as in plural, 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 plural yeah. singular. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Which tie into Revelation the 20th chapter. Yeah. And yeah. I saw thrones and judgment were given. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. That's talking about the who the twelve. Yeah. And then that, that so see, that's why we we go well when we heirs to the throne of Yahweh and Yahshad, meaning joint rulership yeah. with him. Yeah. So it's gonna be more, it's gonna be many thrones, and then the word for the word throne is, uh, I believe this is it says kasa, and it says a seat of honor, mm -hmm. a seat, a stool, or a seat of a seat of honor, throne, royalty, dignity, authority, and power. That's mm -hmm. right, you know. So That's hey, right. we're gonna be sitting on the thrones, man. Lord willing, man. That's right, right. you know. It's Lord willing. Good job, that yeah, that's, um, 149. Yeah. And that, that's what Jake's like, bro. That's what Jake, Jake, you know, see, Jake think is just going to, niggas going to be wicked and I'm going to die anyway and be an Israelite child of, you know, one of, no, man. See, we looking, we looking for that, that, uh, yeah. that, we looking for this, that throne. Yeah. Because only the elect is going to be sitting on throne. Yeah. Everybody yeah. means sitting on throne, you know, even, yeah. you know, even, 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 our, even our, our kids, our children, they going to be princes and all that, but they're not going to be in that power seat. Yeah. 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 See? You know, they're not going to be in a high position. We can go over, we can be that government body. That's right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can be that government body and it's going to be an eternal rule under Yehovah Shemir Shai. Yes, the two-thirds will, will come back as the children of the elect. Yeah. But they're not going to have that authority, man. Yeah. They're yeah. just going to be our children. Yeah. Right. But they're going to be righteous children, man. Yeah. Right. But we that's that's what we want, man. We want that first prize for once to escape the second death, that's which right. is the ultimate prize, and to be granted, to, like the Lord said, I'll grant you to sit on... Sit a, a, um, at the yeah. throne of my father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning we can be up there, man, Lord willing, man. Yeah. Hey, sure. hey, I don't know about hey, yeah. I was gonna say I don't know about y'all, but I do know about y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We all want that, man. Yeah. Yeah. So the Lord himself is gonna put the crowns upon our heads. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Every, levels. Every, levels. And every every man's head is different. Right. Every crown, every hell a man is different. Yeah. But you're gonna have the fitting crowns for each individual. Yeah. Customer. Tell That's right. That's right. You got tell them made hell, so you gonna have tell them made crowns. Right, right, right. Tell them right. made rooms, man. Right. You know? That's what we're working for, man. We're yep. not here to do this just oh, boy. this for nothing. We're here to do this for our purpose, for a reason. Right. So yeah, we gonna bask in that glory of Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Of you know? yeah. we, we must yeah. righteousness must bask itself, yeah. man. If we do something good, we have to acknowledge like this is yeah. something good. Yeah. Yeah. Glorious. Glorious, man. Yeah. We're not hiding. And like the fucking elites, they like, and they sitting in the dark, they're like, yeah, it's how we're not. When we when we gonna fuck you up, we gonna tell you straight up to your face, like we're, we're gonna fuck you up. So yeah, they cowards. Yeah, exactly, bro. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The scripture says, "What well, um, the righteous is mine." Yeah. Mm -hmm. The scripture says in uh, Daniel the uh, the twelfth chapter, mm -hmm. uh, the righteous is gonna uh, flow, uh, shine like the stars so forever and ever. Yeah. 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 Those, that, those that turn many to righteousness right. shall start shine as the stars. So, right. so that's right. us. Since so you said that, do, do, do the stars hide themselves? No, no. They shine, don't they? They see them. Yep. All right, that's that's what right. Said. That's <laughs> right. I got two more verses. Go ahead. This is, it says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Mm -hmm. it says, Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Mm -hmm. That's something for Ooh. Israel, man. It's yeah. Israel only. Man. Kingdom of heaven, baby. Right. That's right. All right. Spirit. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Right. So the people must get the peace that. Well deserved. Now you can get that. Just start. Okay. Start on. Uh, so real, so real quick, real quick, real quick. You got Jake fighting for blocks, <laughs> <Right>. trap houses. <laughs> you know all that niggaology. You know you got Jake 
fighting in the music music yeah. industry yeah. business and yeah. different gangs. All that shit is death and darkness. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say we want to have peace in the walls. Mm -hmm. He said thrones, palaces, castles, Dang. rulership. Mm -hmm. And you so small minded. There you go, bro. You know? Right. So, you know, that's yeah. why we call you mortals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we we are looking up in the things in the heaven. We are seeking for the things above. We are looking where righteousness dwells. Yeah, we're beyond this world. We're beyond this world, man. We so not caught up in it. You know, yeah, we entertained by the little things of, you know, celebrity gossip and drama and bullshit. Like Will Smith smacking Chris Rock. Yeah. All this stupid yeah. shit. Kevin Samuels dying. But we so past all this mortal shit, man. Because this shit is irrelevant and it's temporal. Yeah. It's not even longevity. Yeah. They gonna talk about Kevin Samuel for the next two weeks till the next nigga dies. <laughs> yeah. Some bitch yeah. make a new song, yeah. you know. But we are looking at the place that's everlasting yeah. and eternal. Yeah, that's that's right. gonna be forever. Yeah. That's right. That's it. it. Ain't gonna be no trend. We gonna be the trend forever. That's yeah. right, right. The everlasting trend. Yeah. Yeah. The trends always, always, always talked about it. <laughs> And they're going to sit there and, and, and praise the men that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh right, right. And they're going to talk about the honorable works that we did and sacrifice and all the shit that we took. Right, we fought the good fight. That's, what, that's what's going to be spoken about. On top of the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on. Yep. You got it, bro. Second Ezra? No, no, I mean, Psalms, 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 Psalms 149. You said from the top, right? Yeah, Psalms 149, verse 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Read that part again. This is uh, Psalms 149 and 1. Oh, praise ye oh. the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, sing unto the Lord oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a new song. Let's sing that new right, song, right. man. What is that new song? This word. The truth. Man. The truth. That's right. The truth, man. We're the quarries of yes. yeah, we are the quarries of Yahweh Shah in the earth, man. Alright? You know what a choir does? It sings. What are we singing? We singing over him. That's right. Yeah. Alright? By what? By the scriptures. Keep going, bro. Alright, I got a quick reset. No, no, just, well, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yeah, this is our Psalm of 47 and 7. Mm -hmm. It says, For the Most High is king over all the earth, mm -hmm. and sing ye praises with understanding. Yeah, that's right. right. And it wasn't spra the praises and understanding, it's calling upon his name. Mm -hmm. You know? You can't call, you can't praise somebody if I know their name. Mm -hmm. So keep going, bro. Verse 2 Let Israel rejoice, Psalms 149 mm -hmm. and 2. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Purpose. Mm -hmm. Let them rejoice in him that made him. So we have the purpose. Mm -hmm. Now we understand fully what the Lord is doing. All the things that for the light affliction that we're going through, right? The greater purpose, the eternal glory that's, that's going to be given unto us. Yep. We're going to be set as kings. Kings and priests, man. Mm -hmm. Serving true purpose. Not no fucking crack dealer, no fucking uh, uh, athlete, a basketball player, yeah. you know, a football player. Being entertain, entertaining fucking people, they look down upon you. No, people are gonna reverence us with great esteem, man. Mm -hmm. That's something great because what the Lord's purpose, man. Keep going. It says, verse three: Let them praise His name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto Him with the table. Hey, you notice that niggas always like to shake their asses, right? <laughs> Every Saturday, Friday night, yeah. niggas love shaking their asses. And they shaking their asses for no fucking reason. No fucking reason. No reason. But in the kingdom, we're going to have a rights to shake our asses. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> we're going to have the rights to, man. Yeah, get down. We're going to be getting down, too. Mm -hmm. Every brother's going to be the greatest dancer in the, in the universe, yeah, man. That's right. Because we, this is, and this is the reason why we're in the house of mourning right now. Yeah. This is the reason why we always cry and we always going through what we're going through because that's coming to an end. This is what we're looking forward to, man. Amen. Go, keep going. It says, it says, uh, let them praise it, sing, let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. Mm -hmm. For the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. Mm -hmm. And that's when the Lord's going to be proud. Yeah. But by taking us out of this, this is the great, the, the grand purpose of everything. So the Lord could be at peace with us. 
He can smell. Lord's pissed right now. Yeah. He's 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 infuriated, man. That's why we pray for his mercy. We pray that we he has mercy on us, that we be part of our left. Keep going, bro. Yep. And it says, He will beautify the meek with salvation. Mm -hmm. Let the saints be. Keep going. Yeah, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Mm -hmm. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Hashim Shah be in their mouth yeah. and a two edged sword in their hand. And why would we have a two edged sword in your hand in the kingdom of heaven if it's all peaceful? No, because we're going to execute. We're going to do something. That was done unto us, but we're gonna do it in righteousness, man. That's right. And we're gonna be backed up by the creator himself. That's right, man. See, Esau done all this shit, and the angels are writing everything down, and they're gonna bring it up to them. Just like how uh, you go to court, and you get rid of all the, the dirt that you did, yeah. and you're like, damn, you're gonna have to pay for all this shit. Yep. Well, guess what? That's the same thing that's gonna happen real soon. That's right. All right? And we go and buy what the book said to do. That's right. All right? And we're gonna be in, we're gonna be rejoicing, we're gonna be in praise. Because we're gonna be at peace. Yeah. I don't know even that anybody around here know what peace is. No, none sure. of us do. Who doesn't? All right, we just we just war torn, man. We we we're, we're fucked up in the head. PTSD. All right, and like um, they said about David's men, they shake in the mind, meaning they bitter. Yeah. So we we in a bitter state right now. But in the kingdom, we're gonna be in a high level. We're gonna be in a oh, yeah. whole nother level, man. Oh yeah. Of thought, of mind, of spirit, of power. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're gonna execute the greatest vengeance that was ever read. This is the greatest story that ever been told. Mm -hmm. Keep going. It says Psalms 149 and 7 to execute vengeance upon the heathen mm -hmm. and punishments upon the people mm -hmm. to bind their kings with chains. Who's their kings? The elites. Right. The ones in the shadows. You know, like I got a mouse problem in my house. They, they only come out at late night. Yeah. You know, they're like, eh. and then when you catch one of those little motherfuckers, you want to kill them. Yeah. You know? Because their job is to terrorize you. Yeah. Everything that's around us is, is to terrorize us. So the same thing, they represent the elites, man. And when you catch those damn bastards, you're going to put them in, put nice chains in their neck. Yeah. Thick chains, spike chains. Mm -hmm. It's like how you have the spike, you know, and you got the dog, yeah. you got the spike collar. It's going to be the opposite it, way. It's going to be like, inverted. yeah, inverted. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be pulling your fucking asses, man. Bleeding. Bleeding in death. Chains. All right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah we're gonna, boy, we're going to get creative on your ass, man. Right? Yeah. Meditate time. We're going to meditate. We're meditating time right now. Right, right, you know, right. and I crook their mind. So how much right. more when our mind is perfect? That's right. Every right. time they swallow or drink or something, whatever. It hurt because you know the spike is so tight yeah. on your neck. You know, you're trying to take a gulp, it hurt. Yeah. But they yeah. got to it. They got to. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to. It's, it's just it's justice, really. All right. right. It's not a personal. Actually, it is gonna be personal. It is, yeah. <laughs> it is gonna be personal. It's gonna be personal in business. It's not at the same time. time. At the same time. At the same time. That's a recipe for that's, that's a recipe for that's that's you know? Personal, personal, because of what you did to us, right? Bro. And business, because we going according to the law. That's right. right. And the law's gonna be written out here. Right. 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 Ain't gonna take no time for us to know what we gotta do to your ass. Exactly. So, exactly. That's right. We gonna know off the job. Right. You done this? You fucked up, man. Mm -hmm. hey, right. man. You name these damn devils. We we gonna get your ass, man. We, that's right. Hey, we gonna take turns in your ass, man. Right. Right. Let's go to this brother's plantation after after the Lord is done with you. Hey, I always say, hey, spirit, it's crazy because. Yahweh Shai, as he's the alpha of everything. He's gonna be the greatest slave master in the oh, planet yeah. Earth, man. Oh, yeah. He's gonna show everybody how it's done, man. Oh, yeah. All you right. Take notes. He's gonna take notes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, say, come on, yeah, this is how you do it, man. <laughs> you you, you wouldn't think you was on point, but then when you see how the do it, <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh shit. <laughs> and he's gonna show us how it's done. All right. Yeah, right. He's the Lord of everything. He created everything. Yeah. Everything's for His purpose. Yeah. Sure. And we're gonna be joint heirs with him. Yep. The Lord said He promised him, He's like, you ask, ask of me, and I shall give you the heathen for that inheritance, inheritance, man. Hey, Lord willing, we get the heathen for our inheritance. Right. Man. Come on, I man. mean, we all. That would be asking. Yeah. That's gospel. That's that's, that's, that's the good news, right? <laughs> we teach the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. I know like, brothers want vocab, man. Hey, hey, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, everybody get vocab, vocab, vocab. 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 from y'all show, man. Yeah, yeah, right. man. We could chop his body and sell it to the oil. <laughs> 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 Everybody got a body part of it. Okay, yeah, he's going on the world tour. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, world. 
everybody's plantation. According to the scriptures, yes. okay, right? Okay. Okay. Yes. Scripture. We're not going to get up and meet your ass and do it now. Yes. We're going to do it in the kingdom of heaven, yes. right? Yes. right? In the kingdom of your God, of the God of the Bible, yes. Yes. right? Yes. That hurts even more. Yes. Right? They, they would rather us do it now, but yes. no, we can do it in the kingdom of heaven now. Yes. That's right. The glorious kingdom of God, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, just like thus the saith the Lord, oh, thus saith the scripture. Yeah. Right, right. As it is written. Yep. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Just like y'all, oh, not y'all shot. Joshua, which, hey, y'all shot, that's his name. Yeah, that's his name. Mm -hmm. and it said, he said to put your, uh, put your foot on foot the no, next of these yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, so after he count them. So in the kingdom, you know, Yahweh Shah, he's really going to be the one that owns the elites. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, when, once he gets his, his glory and enslaves them, Hey, bro, ain't no telling, man. You might say, bro, bro, you have him for a week. Or you have him for a couple of days. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Have your way with him. Just bring him back in one piece. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, bring him back in pieces. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> don't matter. Yeah. 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 But that's a good point, though, putting your foot on their necks, because that's a um, a symbol of conquering a nation. Yeah. Yeah. You so did it. Yeah. Yeah. You so did it. So that's why Joshua made that statement, because it was a... Uh, it was a thing of sim symbolism, like put yeah. your foot in the neck to show that you conquered your yeah. king that's right. from the land that we took from them, that's that the right. Lord gave us. And yeah. then, that's going to come right back, full three yeah, seasons, because we're about to get our land right back. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 When did them Amalekites put their foot on any of our necks? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like physically. Yeah. They ain't do that, because right. they don't know how to rule, man. Yeah. All right, but we're going to be there dead ass in front of their face with, with our foot on their neck on the Adam's apple. You know, brother, you have to you know, relax, brother. You just <laughs> made a statement. You know what I mean? About to crush their fucking neck like a damn, like, you know? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. bro. One brother going to be like, I'll slack. I slipped, brother. <laughs> yeah. It ain't going to be no question of losing power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Gonna, see, today it's like, uh, uh, are they ruling? Right, is, right. It, is it the so called Jew? Is it? Is it? No, you want to know yeah. who the rulers are. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. the, the the then, not only you want to you know, be blinded by them because they're going to be emanating light because wisdom makes a face, man's face to shine, mm -hmm. but there's going to be power emanating off of them. Right. Right? Just like we can sense when people oh, around. Not there. Imagine, oh, yeah, yeah. Bless. 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 Damn for them. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just like you could yeah. sense somebody's next to you, behind you, mm -hmm. the power is going to be emanating off the, the yeah. men of the Lord. Yeah, but they're going to be trembling, man. You know? Mm -hmm. They're going to be trembling. All right? <laughs> that's that, that's the, the vibration that's going to come to your, your very most, your very soul. Bones. Your soul is going to feel the effect of the, the power of the elect of the nation of Israel. Right. Keep going, bro. Verse 7 to execute vengeance upon the heathen. And punishments upon the people mm -hmm. to bind their kings with chains mm -hmm. and their nobles with fetters of iron mm -hmm. to bring upon them the judgment written. Mm -hmm. This honor have all his saints. Right. This honor, this is the honor. Mm, right. Right? So this is something that we, we look upon for all our past lives. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the honor. Mm -hmm. Right? The Lord's honor is going to put us on top. He's yeah. gonna beautify his entire people. Yeah. The same people that you looked at it was in shit. Yeah. They're gonna be the greatest thing ever. Yeah. They're gonna fulfill everything that the Lord said and then some. Yeah. Right? And there's nothing without a shadow of a doubt. These are the people of the heavenly father. Yeah. You could yeah. sit there and say, oh, uh, they they think they're this, they think they're that. Oh well. Yeah. It doesn't matter. No. <laughs> You're gonna see whatever we know. We don't think we know. We know it. Is in our spirit. We know it. We That's know right. we're gonna be those people, man. Right. All right. Yep. That was it. Yeah. Uh, praise the Yahweh Shemel Shah. Yeah. Yeah. Praise, yeah. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord that we gave us the honor. Praise the Lord that we gave us the honor. Praise the Lord that we gave us the honor. Praise the Lord that we gave us the honor. the Lord that we gave the honor. Praise the Lord that the we the the Lord that the Lord that we gave us the honor. the the have y'all in subjection. Because y'all had us in subjection. You 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 tarnish, you hurt, you decimated the apple of the Lord's eye. And you're gonna get fucked. That's right. That's right. You man. done fucked up. That's right. You touched the apple down, touched it, you dirtied it, you defiled it, you did everything possible to harm the eye, the apple of the Lord's eye. <laughs> And you think you ain't going to get payback? 
You think you ain't going to get judged for that? You think, you know, whole cab alone and all these other theologians talk about their white Jesus and their white kingdom of heaven? You think that's going to exist? You got your rabbit ass mind. And that's why the Lord is going to bring such a great destruction on this planet for all the lies that's being pushed. That's right. And the wickedness. That's why that destruction will be so great. The flood came because they were so wicked back then. Mm -hmm. This is going to outdo the flood. <laughs> there was no, the, the flood covered mountains. That's how much water was on the earth. It covered mountains. Mm -hmm. It broke apart the land mass. Right. The fire, the lake of fire, the great destruction, the second death is going to be worse than that. This shit is terrible, bro. Yeah. That's why we keep saying we hope and pray <laughs> that we are part of the elect because we don't want to partake in that, man. That's right. We don't, that's the Lord's fury, his anger, his wrath, man. Yeah. We don't want no parts. And that's why we do these. That's why we do this, bro. We don't do this for men. No, I don't We're know. not here because Apostle Allah told us to be here. Or well, you know, Apostle Ball, Apostle Ricardo, Apostle Ramla. Right. And they, 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 you know, that's the that's what they push. That's the energy, the vibration, the spirit that they push. Do this for salvation, man. Huh? Yeah. We yeah. do this for Yahweh Bashmi Shai because we want to be saved. I want to. I want to see. I want to see our brothers on the chariot, man. Right. I want to right. see the apostles on the chariot. Right. I mean, right. I mean, I want to be there with them. I want to be there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to be there with y'all, brothers. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know, work the scripture say work out your own it's salvation with the children. When brothers getting beamed up, man, I hope I hope, I hope my track can be in the so. dead too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't grab one to the car or y'all stop me like, you know, grab this Take brother. Me like, you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking yeah. hand probably burn over some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Lord ain't nothing to fuck with, man. Do this because, you know, through fear, through trembling, because one, you know, is our reasonable service. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord commanded us to do this. Yeah. This is the this is this is the um the least we can do, bro. We can always do more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can always do more for y'all by shit up. We wanna i go we wanna go longer, but we you know, I, you know, I read you know time is permit. Time is, you, know, you know, time permit, whatever. But it is what it is, man. We do this for salvation and yeah. to serve you how shit because everything yeah. we spoke about, bro. I'm not imagining is is beyond glory, bro. Yes, the no. slaves, the the, the lost statue commander in the inner part. Yes, you know the the glorious bodies never dying. Seeing your house shy, your shy is talking about um what? What you say that um? He said I drink of the exactly, yeah. drinking the wine till you drinking new me in the kingdom. <laughs> like damn, we about yo, bro, we about to sip on that yah young with the, the the king of the universe, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at his table and just like goodness, yo, I, yo, bro, I, yeah, I want to say goodness gracious, G God Almighty. Can't come um, compare. There's or, not no force to say what we gotta say in this person. Man. Not, not, you know? this, once again, whatever you imagine still doesn't compare right. to what's actually going to happen. Because yeah. right, right. mind have not seen, eyes have not seen, eyes have not seen, seen ears, have not, ears have not heard. So whatever you can conjure in your fucking mind still don't compare to the glory that's going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Pretty much that's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we pray and hope that you was edified. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Double honors to our apostles, love is a great millstone. The men that taught us the truth. Shabbat shalom. 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 Shabbat sh